ain't gotta thank God. I don't know, but today seems kinda odd. No barking from the dog, no small. And mama cooked the breakfast with no harm. I got my grub bone, but didn't dig out. Finally got a call from a girl I wanna dig out. So hooked it up for later as I hit the door. Thinking, will I live another 24? I gotta go, cause I got me a drop top. And if I hit the switch, I can make the ass drop. Had to stop at a red light. Looking in my mirror, not a jacker in sight. And everything is alright. I got a beat from Kim, and she can fuck all night. Called up the homies, and I'm asking y'all, which part are y'all playing basketball? Get me on the court, and I'm troubled. Last week, fucked around and got a triple double. Freaking niggas every way, like MJ. I can't believe today was. Oh, a- hello, everybody, flooding in. How is everybody doing on this fan fucking tastic fucking Sunday chat? My God. How are y'all doing today? Uh, I'm a bit late. I know I'm late. I don't gotta... I, I'm late every fucking stream at this point. It's not a shocker. Uh, it's also Sunday, so I woke up, you know, fell back asleep, woke up again, said, oh, shit, I gotta get ready for stream. Uh, and now I'm here. Legan and Alex for the sub. Uh, Full and on and Cool Boy for the sub. I'm also pretty demotivated on Sundays. That's another reason I'm late. I don't know if that's relatable. Uh, but when I'm done, like, I want to stream today. But the reason I've been demotivated is because I know when I'm done stream, I have to do, like, six hours of homework. Uh, and I think that's the most unenjoyable thing in the fucking world. Uh, and so I'm happy to stream. But once stream's over, I'm going to be pissed. Because then I have to fucking do work. I, well, this is work too, but it's fun work, right? <laughs> it's fun work versus uh, not fun work. Uh, Pog Champ and Polar for the sub TBG or TBD for the three. Uh, I have a game idea. It's where you break into houses, starting with lower value ones, uh, and your goal is to use tools to break in and use their toilets without getting caught. As you succeed, you earn money. The better the toilet, the more money you use. The money to buy better tools and access higher value houses with the end, get, aim, end game goal to be shitting in the president's toilet. Would you play that game? Yeah, that sounds fun. Dr. Boredom, Dylan, T1, Cool, Full and On, Alex, Lincoln for the sub, uh, X11 for the three, Kinder Girl here, uh, moving out of my abusive mom's house. Well, that's a dub. Uh, I'm sorry you had uh, to deal with your abusive mom, but I mean, it's good that you're moving out. Pause, uh, Stone, Shep, Keep, Naomi, Shadow, T, Cows, uh, Salty, and Mexico, and Cletus for the sub, Cool for the sub, uh, Kate for the sub, Jake for the three. Oh my God, I didn't brush my teeth today. Yo, hold up, chat. <laughs> Yo, hold up. Yo, hold up, chat. Count me down 30 seconds. <laughs> Drove to the pad and hit the showers. Didn't even get no static from the cowards. Cause just yesterday, them booze tried to blast me. Saw the police and they rolled right past me. No flexing, didn't even look in a nigga's direction as I ran. Plan for today. Reactions, okay? How fast do y'all, this is how I brush my teeth. And bang, we're ready. All right. Why are people saying A-O? Hey, All right. Uh, Cookie, Laser, Christian for the sub. x for the sub. Ian for the five. Gift is Max for the four. First year going to in-person school after three years. Your streams are really helping. Keep up the amazing work. Love you, bro. Thank you. Uh, and good luck. Juice box for the sub. That man. That man, Jojo, for the fucking $100 dono. 
Is that why your tongue is white? No, I just Who forgot to press my teeth one on dollar donations. And how much? I don't know how to see. Joe used this for a great date night. Who's the number one on dollar donations? What, on like uh, non-bit donos? I don't know. Uh, they have a leaderboard, but I don't know if it shows how much money they've sent. Uh, use this for a great date night. Well, thank you for the fucking $100, that man underscore JoJo. Fucking dub in the chat for them. Jake for the three. When is your fence movie? What do you mean my fence movie? Cool Cade Pog Polar for the sub. Uh, I have no idea what you mean fence movie. Julian, uh, Joshua, and Melon for the sub. Arsenal for the three. How's your day going? Good. Ain't no way you just woke up. No, I've been up since 10. I just haven't brushed my teeth. I had a lot of other shit I had to do, you know, and I still got a fucking six hours of homework after stream. I got distracted, right? I didn't brush my teeth. Uh, Andrian for the three. Hey, ACL surgery six uh, months ago. You really helped me through the recovery. Well, thank you. Super for the three. Uh, you should play Jurassic World or Jurassic World Lego game. Uh, Lego game, no. If you have any other games you want me to play, exclamation point Discord. Mods play the Discord link. 30 seconds is not enough time to brush your teeth. I know, dumbass. I'd normally brush my teeth longer. I'm on stream. Do y'all want me to brush my teeth for a solid minute and a half on stream and just not talk? Gage and Jackson for the sub, Golden for the three. I'll brush them again when I'm done. How do you have six hours of homework? I'm in college. Full and on for the four. One dude in school slapped me in the face. Instead of slapping it back, I uh, bought an ounce of cocaine and planted it in his backpack. Uh, D-Doodle for the five. It's my birthday today. Happy birthday. Uh, X-11 for the three. Uh, love your streams. Uh, I look up to you a lot. I don't know. Uh, and thank you. I don't know if I'd be here without your streams. Well, thank you. Uh, Andrian for the fucking three. Uh, and if you have any games you want me to uh, play super tough or just chat in general, join the Discord. Uh, or videos you want me to react to. Send videos to react to. Games to be able to play in the video. Suggestion tab. Game suggestion tab. Sold and dried for the sub. Uh, all right. First video of the day. Uh, we're going to do a rundown and then we'll lock in. Mr. Beast video posted yesterday. Didn't watch it yet, right? 53 million views. A lot of you guys may have seen it. Uh, I don't really give a fuck if you've seen it because I haven't and we're going to watch it today. Uh, $1 versus $100 million car. Uh, girl trades real life for virtual world, instantly regrets it. We're kind of back on the Darman grind, right? Uh, we took like a four-month break from watching any Darman-esque videos. Now we're kind of back, right? Uh, and you guys sent this one in the video session tab like a thousand fucking times. Uh, so I'm assuming it's cringy. Uh, Facebook boomers confused and scared. Stung by a, a panda ant, flat earther sees space for the first time. The biggest legal scams. How dollar stores quietly consumed America and Ohio too. Another scary short film. May for the fucking five gifted. Thank you for the five gifted. May that man for the 25. Got to work. Uh, or had a great work week. So have uh, some. Thank you for the fucking 25 and the 100 earlier. Uh, good game to play is baby in yellow. Already played that. Uh, chill for the sub caco for the five. When they release new parts, I'll play that again though. When's the face reveal? Uh, tomorrow. Super for the three. Jurassic World, the game is an app game. Uh, well, I'm not going to play that on stream. Uh, Boke for the sub. Uh, Kako for the sub. Uh, Derek for the sub. The Turtle for the sub. I'm not ever playing a mobile game on stream. I've been offered... Chat, this is how lazy I am. <laughs> I've been offered stream sponsors to play mobile games that I actually like, but I'm too lazy to figure out how to fucking stream a mobile game. So I will never stream a mobile game. What about Raid Shadow Legends? I, I got offered to do a raid. I got offered to do a raid stream. Uh, I said no. I did a raid sponsor, but I think um I think a th I don't think you guys would like a three hour uh raid would you guys like a three hour raid shadow legends stream? Be real. <laughs> would you would you guys want to watch a three hour intense gameplay of Raid Shadow Legends. <laughs> Fuck no. Fuck no. I'd be averaging fucking five viewers that stream. If you were getting paid well, I would. Oh, so you're only going to watch it depending on how much I get paid. What if it's like $10? What if they give me like an Xbox gift card and in return I have to stream three hours for them? Would you guys be... <laughs> that's worth it? Yeah. <laughs> Sorry, chat. Sorry, chat. They give me a $25 Starbucks gift card. I got to run this one out. <laughs> Everybody lock in for a fucking three-hour raid stream. All right. Lock in for the actual first video of the day. The turtle and Derek for the sub. Uh, the Mr. Beast video. Uh, $1 versus $100 million car. This is actually a pretty cool video idea. 
Um, so I'm excited to see what it is. I don't know what car costs a hundred million dollars though. Behind me, probably like a one of one Bugatti, like that Bugatti. Oh wait, no, it'd be the one under the fucking tarp. Uh, no shit, Joe. Are the most expensive cars in the world. No joke, we got our hands on over two hundred and fifty million dollars worth of cars. One of them even costing a hundred million dollars, and we're gonna be exploding. Why do you have to fucking blow them up? Why do we have to blow them up? Why can't we just drive the car? What the fuck? Whoa, I, I, I'm, I was excited, and now you're saying you're gonna blow, you're gonna explode all of them. Sailing. Oh, no, okay, no, they're gonna drive most of them. I was gonna say, bro, no way he's just like, I have a fucking garage full of $100 million cars, and Carl's got a button. Press that bitch, and it just blows all of them up. And even flying all of these cars to show you why they're so expensive. Starting with this. One dollar car. One dollar car. Literally a rust bucket. Why are you selling this car for a dollar? Well, you see, it's pretty much... Yeah, what are the odds it, what are the odds it drives? One dollar car. Literally a. <laughs> what are the odds that gets going? Rust bucket. Why are you selling this car pretty for high. a dollar? Well, you see, it's pretty much worthless. And I can't put any time or money in this thing. If you grab this dollar, the deal is final. Now, obvious. What's nuts is like most places wouldn't even. You wouldn't even pay for it, right? If you have like some weird ass, rusted ass scrap metal. You would usually call a place to pick it up for free, and then they would just scrap it. Like, he actually kind of got scammed by having to pay a dollar. Honestly, this is a piece of garbage. But when you spend 20K on repairs, it actually runs. All right, let's get this bad boy started. Whoa! I did not think it would start. How is this thing driving? 20,000 on fucking repairs. They have sheet metal covering the engine. This is crazy! One dollar car! $1 car. I would never get in that car. I would never get in that car. That thing would 100% blow up. Alright, well, that was the $1 car. Glad I wasn't in that. Damn, it scales so... Dude, a Lamborghini's only 200k. What? Bring in the $100,000 car, which drives itself. No joke, no Yo, one is- Teslas are overrated as act. Oh my god. Teslas are so fucking overrated. Oh, it pisses me off, dude. People dick ride the shit out of the car like it looks so cool. What do you mean only? I thought Lamborghinis were like $2 million. I didn't know a Lamborghini was 200 k That's why I'm saying only. What do you mean only? Bro, because I thought a Lambo was like fucking five million. Some are. Well, yeah, it probably depends on. He probably got the cheapest Lamborghini. I mean, two hundred k is still a fuckload of money. I'm saying only in comparison to like a, a fucking ten million dollar car. It's currently in this. Car. Tesla's overrated as fuck, though, dude. They're so boring. I know the inside's high tech and cool, but like, fuck, dude. They were cool as shit when they came out, and now every time I see a Tesla, I'm like, oh, another fucking dick bag with a Tesla. Like, uh, another dick bag with a fucking Tesla car. I'm not shitting on electric cars, by the way. I love the idea of electric cars. Uh, I will say mining the fucking, what is it, cobalt or whatever to actually get the batteries for the cars is also not environmentally friendly. But um, I will say that, like, electric cars are cool, right? But I think Tesla's a bit overhyped because elon musk is a character car and it is moving let's see what 100 grand gets it's you lithium i thought it was cobalt is it cobalt or lithium there's a lot of room in this car this is one of the few cars you need that both i know there's big cobalt and lithium mines life for the sub dilly and random for the sub to boys for the three my friend just killed themselves last night i'm sorry to hear that holy fuck rip in the chat uh, i'm freaking out about it i cried all night and i couldn't do anything to help her i miss her already uh, I mean, yeah, man, it, it, it's going to be tough, uh, if you want me to be real, um, especially if they happened last night, right? Uh, I don't know how close you were with them, but, uh, that's fucking brutal. Uh, Iker for the sub, uh, Derek for the sub, uh, and Joey for the three. Jimmy's the type of guy to have the skin of a goose. Facts. <sighs> I mean, what I would say is, I, you just got to, 
you just got to push through it. I at the end of the I like there's there's nothing you can do about it, right? You can't revert what happened. Uh, I would say going through the mourning process is what's best, but uh, it's gonna take time, man. Uh, I'm sorry, genuinely. Like I I don't really know what to say outside of that though. Everything will be all right. Well, yeah. At the in the end of the at the end of the day, it'll be all right. But it still sucks. Silly for the sub to boys for the three. Wish I could have done something. She was the only. She only told me she was gonna kill herself. We've been friends for eight years. I fucking loved her so much. Uh, did she say when she was going to, or just that she wanted to? Uh, no, or for the three. Tbh, you make my days better when I'm down or not have a good uh good day in general. Thanks for that. No problem. And for the three, the boy toxin. I'm back after a while being gone. College has been good so far. Dub. Uh, got to meet my new nephew. That's dope. Uh, and I'm, dude. I'm sorry. For, I'm sorry to hear that. Eight years uh, of friendship. That's it's brutal, man. I can actually fit all my kids. Do you have kids? Yeah, all of them. Let's take it for a little spin. The real reason you're buying a Tesla is because it can drive itself. All right. I'm no longer driving the car. Oh, it's switching lanes. Whoa! The main reason you want to drive a Tesla is uh, because it, it knows how to drive itself. Oh, it's switching lanes? Oh, it's speeding up into oncoming traffic. Oh, it looks like we're going to go headfirst into a fucking semi. It's literally driving itself. I've seen her not touching the gas, and I'm not touching the steering wheel. Jimmy, are you telling me now you can take a nap while oh. driving? No, don't do that. Oh, okay. <laughs> now, let's see how fast the car can go. Oh! <laughs> it jerks you backwards. That's terrifying. This is just the beginning. Later, we have a car that literally transforms into an airplane and flies. But now... Oh, look at that Lambo. Lambo. Oh, I almost hit it. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I just left the keys in here? How'd nobody steal it? And even though this costs twice as much, it has half as much space. I don't know if I'd pay 200k for this car because I don't fit in it. Do they even know how to drive a Lamborghini? Uh, you gotta move your knee around the wheel, buddy. You're gonna pay for the luxury of the car, pal. I would do Ford. I think you just... Don't be shitting on the Lambo, Jimmy. I'll take that Lambo off your hands if you don't want it, bud. You know, I'll, you know by all means, yeah, that, what a shit car. I'll take it off your hands, man. Uh, just give me like 20 grand and I'll take it. The shifter. All right. And now we're on the road. Bro, for the people saying L, Chris, grow the fuck up, dude. Oh, grow the fuck up, dude. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Grow up. Please. Please, dude. Oh, I just want to watch the fucking video here, right? And and, and then you got a bunch of fucking dude. You got, a, you got a bunch of people here that probably also call people a bunch of fucking snowflakes. Meanwhile, they're sitting here fucking having a goddamn mental breakdown that fucking... Uh, their name's Christina now? Okay, Christina. They're, they're having a goddamn mental breakdown that Christina's in the fucking video, dude. Jesus Christ. Fucking nut up, dude. Grow up. Fucking watch the video. Who gives a fuck? It's their fucking life. It's Chris Christina's fucking life. They can do with their life what they want to do with their fucking life. If you don't watch, if you don't want to watch it, don't watch the fucking video, okay? It's not that big of a fucking deal. It's All so that. annoying. Like, I'm trying to watch the video, and instead of you actually watching the video and understanding the content within the video, you're just blinded by, like, the fact that you have to spam L. Chris for no fucking reason. Oh, my gosh. She sounds angry. Dang, she's got some power. Like you're that agitated by it? Ugh. Oh, my gosh. This car is insane. I thought it was Chris. Well, it said the same, whether it's K or C. I'm barely touching the gas, and we're flying. This might be the fastest car I've ever driven. If you need to compensate for something, this is definitely the car. And now we are at the $300,000 car. And this is supposedly the safest car on the planet. It's like a tank. Yeah, is this a military like, It looks like it could take a sniper bullet. Uh, that looks like one of those fucking GTA cars that you have. That takes, like, rocket launchers to the fucking doors. Supposedly, the safest car on the planet. It's like a tank. Is this a military-grade car? <laughs> yeah, this is so high up. You were also just in a Lamborghini, to be fair. True, true <laughs> perspective. Let's go over what makes this car so safe. First things first is the bulletproof windows that are this thick. The car is also encased in explosive-proof armor that we're going to put to the test later on. Carl, do you want to press the buttons? Uh, so bad. You want to hit the... Jimmy, if it's explosive-proof and you're going to test it, you got to put somebody in the car, man. Stop putting dummies in the car. If they're if the company standing by the fact that this fucking thing's explo explode proof or fucking explosion proof, put somebody in the car. Smoke screen button? Please. Whoa! Whoa! That is crazy! Oh, is we have a literal smoke screen. Oh my gosh, it smells! 
<laughs> but the best part is none of these features are what make the car really safe. It's the literal explosive proof frame around the car. And we're going to be the first people to test it. And for reference, Imagine before getting in a car crash with that thing, you're getting fucking flattened. Going 90 on a highway and you rear end a fucking armored fucking truck. You're dead. Before we blow up the $300,000 car, we're gonna blow up a normal car to see if the passengers survive. Three, two, one! I think they've lived that. Not only is it on fire, but the mannequins literally so flew out of the I think they've lived that. I think, um, oh, that's a minor problem right there. I think they'd live that. Oh, it blew a sunroof into that thing. It doesn't handle it well at all. And before we blow up this car, I'm going to put feastables inside of it. Better protect my freaking chops. TV Doom said, man, I just want a car with actual AC and heating. So supposedly. Yo, facts. Where's the car? Where's the car with a nice uh, heated seat? Where's a, where's a car with some fucking some good ass air conditioning how's the air conditioning on the resvani or whatever the fuck Wait, this car is ex resvan explosion proof but that's never been tested let's see if the mannequins and even more importantly the feastables survive Yo, why they, why don't they just shoot an rpg at that fucking thing three two one literally just ate that. Dude. It just jumped. The car actually survived the blast with only a few minor scrapes. It put a tent in the window. Wait, hold up, hold up, hold up. Where are the Feastables? Chandler, get out the way. Chandler, the Feastables survived. If you're looking for a car that can take a bomb, I- Why, why do they have this? Like, who's buying these cars? A fucking, a, a fucking bullet explosion proof vehicle. What, like, regular civilian needs this? Other than, like, Jeff Bezos. Me? For the army? These aren't for the army, I would assume. I would assume this is, like, a regular car. I officially recommend this one. Somebody said veterans. The president? The president already has a bulletproof limo. But since we're not And, like, every other car. ...to war anytime soon, for only an extra $200,000, you can get this $500,000 boat car. On land, this is a normal car. You can't really tell the difference. But here's the fun part. Just drive it in the water. I hate the idea of boat cars. I Like, a plane car sounds pretty cool. A boat car is so fucking stupid. Have you ever been on, like, the duck boat in, like, a river or some shit? And it's a car that goes into the water, and there's, like, a tour guide... It's the most boring thing ever. Uh, they have them in, like, Philly and New York and, like, Delaware and every big city that has, like, a river or, or some shit. And it's, like, some boring-ass tour guide and you're there with, like, 500 other fucking people in, like, 10 other boats. And you all just go into the water, like, that murky-ass brown water. And they're like, woo! Oh, it, oh it, went from, it went from land to water. And then somebody died in one. One capsized and like 20 people fucking drowned. Anybody remember that? That was like two years ago. Yeah, the Boston Duck Tour. People fucking died or some shit. Dude, because that's, ooh, it fucking goes full, full speed into the water. Oh, it's taking on a lot of water. Oh, we're sinking. My chat's saying what? Y'all ain't hear about that? The duck boat that killed people. The duck boat that sank. <coughs> yeah, seven pe 17 people died on a duck boat. In July 19th of 2018. Uh, it sank uh, during a severe thunderstorm. <coughs> Why did they go on a duck boat in a severe thunderstorm? Ooh, category, th category three hurricane. That's nothing for the duck boat. Really? Like what? I hope they got sued out of the ass, bro. Who the fuck? Why would the duck boat take people out during a fucking thunderstorm? Water, and it turns into a boat. We're gonna let Carl go first. Here we go! Why are you mocking them? I'm mocking the company. I'm not mocking the people that died. I'm saying the company's a bunch of fucking idiots. Thinking that, number one, it's a good business idea. Number two, it'd be a good idea to take people out during a fucking hurricane. Not a hurricane. Thunderstorm. Oh! Oh, this 
Also, the company sucks. I've been on duck boats, bro. It's boring as fuck, and it just, it seems so unsafe. Because it's literally just, it's a boat with, like, sheet metal. And then, like, it's a really, like, it, it looks like a lifted truck almost, right? And then it just goes into the water, and the, and the wheels lift up, and then it's rotors. But it's so stupid. It's the same thing as this, but shittier. My god, dude. Anytime I talk about anything. Oh, wh why are you trying to mock the dead people? I'm not mocking the fucking dead people, dude. Oh my god. I feel right. This doesn't feel right. I'm having them go first just so I can make sure it works. Fuck, I'm trying to cancel. You know that? Well, I mean, they're just getting mad. But it's like, they're, I, I, I guess they're not paying attention to what I'm saying. I'm making fun of the duck boat, and then I'm like, oh yeah, that's stupid as shit. They went out during a thunderstorm. Are we sinking? Gas no, we're floating. Why are you mocking dead people? What? Oh. It looks like it worked. Let's see what happens. Oh my god, we're going we're driving in the water. Holy So you press this until you hear a beep. That's a beep. Now I should be able to drive this like a normal car, but on the water. Tia, hold on. <laughs> they just trying to get you mad, you fallen for it. Eh. I'd say there's a 50-50 chance they're trying to get me mad, and then there's a other 50% chance that they're dead serious and they're actually upset. Oh. Oh. That's fucking cooking though. The duck boat goes like four miles an hour. If there was ever a really strong tide, I think the duck boat would float out to sea. This is incredible! Woo! This was literally a car five seconds ago. Yeah! You know, I wouldn't be out there with them, but I get car sick and boat sick. Oh, we're getting there! Oh. Car sick and boat sick. How does fucking Chandler get anywhere? <laughs> whoa! 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 Oh my god! All right, Carl! 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 Okay, yeah, that's kind of scary. Carl's literally sitting there fucking whipping the wheel back and forth. Oh. They should not have let me drive this. Dude, it's picking up off of the fucking water. Oh. Oh. <laughs> Woo! We got it, baby! Rule number one, stay really far away from Chris. Is that Jimmy's girlfriend? Who's that random woman? Ah, oh, they're doing donuts in the water. <laughs> they're making a whirlpool. I just met this guy five seconds ago. We're gonna race. Three, two, one, go! Oh, he's just so much faster. He's not even trying. Come on, faster! Oh, oh this is quicker because it's a fucking jet ski, dude. It's carrying one person. Going to. Oh, it's a smoke show! I can't believe we just beat him. This thing goes way too fast. I can't think of a better way to celebrate a win than a piece of... <laughs> oh, yeah, the fucking sweet victory of a Feastables bar. bar. Hey, have some Feastables. Oh, hey! I got it! Feastables is the number one chocolate on the planet. If you're not eating it, you should fix that. The fact that all three of us are driving cars on the ocean is insane. Jimmy, I love this thing so much. And the crazy... It's even more insane. The fact that dipping a D's nuts bar into the salt water just makes it a hell of a lot better. Just dunking that good old D's nuts chocolate bar right in the good old fucking salt water just enhances the flavor even more. This part is, this is just the beginning of this video. The just dunking a fucking D's nuts bar right into the Hudson River with a fucking Band-Aid floating in that water. Just fucking... Just, just letting it rip, letting that algae fucking kind of conjure up on that D's nuts bar, taking a nice old bite. Next car on our list can literally fly. And since I'm afraid of heights, I let Carl and Nolan take this one. <laughs> I would never get in that car. I would never, <laughs> I would never get in that car. I don't care how fucking safe they would, they think that shit is. That's like, uh, this is, this is the fucking, uh, what was that? What was that submarine that fucking exploded underwater? This is that shit all over again in the air. Oh, we have a car that can actually fly. Oh, really? Let me get in. Dude, what is happening? Only, only $600,000. This car is not only completely street legal, but it also has wings that can take it literally 8,000 feet oh, the in ocean the- Ocean Gate sub, yeah. Dude, I like, I, there's so many things could go wrong here. Sky, there's literally a propeller on that car. Stay here and watch it take off. I'm gonna go in that plane and follow it. I just don't believe that this is actually gonna fly. Oh, he's oh, he's going alone. It's taking off! The wheels aren't on the ground anymore! 
It's literally a car that's flying. It's literally flying. It smacks into a fucking pine tree. These cars are getting. It's not getting enough lift. It's it's kind of like floating on the on on top on, on top of the land right now. It's not really going any higher. And crazier and crazier. Oh, he's got to pull up. He's getting really close to the tree line. Crazier. I can't even believe my eyes. There's a car a mile above my head right now. <laughs> oh my God. That was so cool. I feel like for six hundred thousand dollars, this is a steal. Up next is the one million dollar car. But I didn't only bring one. Of as you can imagine, there are a lot of $1 million cars out there. So to make sure I brought your favorite, we got the 10 coolest $1 million cars. And as per usual, we have the entire racetrack to ourselves. So I let my friends choose whatever car they want. Damn, which one am I picking? For a fucking race? The Mc Is that a McLaren? I think that's a fucking McLaren. I'm picking that bitch. I'm picking the McLaren or I'm picking that fucking thing. Some shit that's going to go fast. I'm not picking the Lambo. That's a fucking, that, that's too basic of a pick. Oh, you know, actually, I'm going to pick the Feastables wrapped fucking car, right? I'm going to pick the fucking Feast. I'm going to be eating a D's nuts bar while I'm fucking one hand driving 180 miles an hour around a track. What? Is, I'm going to just ride with you. You pick. That's a Ferrari? That is not a Ferrari. That looks like a McLaren. Look at this beef. Am I? That's a fucking Ferrari. You're going to fit in this? All right, I'll try not to text and drive. It's private property. It's technically a legal. Or GT? Eh, I don't know. <laughs> I don't know, car. Cody Co. I'm going to just ride with you. Oh. Racetrack to ourselves. So I let my friends choose whatever car they wanted. I'm going to just ride with you. You pick. Yo, this just reminded me because this is such a random collab. Yo, the worst movie I've ever seen in my life. In my life. I watched three days ago. It's a Halloween movie. Guess the movie. Guess the movie. Worst movie I've ever seen. Somebody said Cars. I said it's a Halloween movie, dumbass. Yeah, Cookie got it. Hubie Halloween. Hubie Halloween. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Is that a shit fest? The, if you want to sit through a genuine movie that tries to get 50 laughs and gets zero watch Hubie Halloween I liked it yeah of course you did dude isn't that a shitty take dude this is why Adam Sandler's a bad actor Adam Sandler most actors play roles in movies right they see the script they say I want to try this role I'm going to practice for it I'm going to go for it right Adam Sandler doesn't do that Adam Sandler is a bad actor for this reason. He has eight characters in his repertoire, right? Eight to ten characters. I'm not saying I don't like bad. I'm, I'm not saying I don't like Adam Sandler movies, by the way, chat. I know y'all are all saying I'll take. I'm not saying I love Adam Sandler as a person. I think he has really good movies, right? I'm saying he is not a good actor. He, he's still in a lot of good movies. I still will watch a lot of his movies. This is why he's a bad actor, though. And you're not even hearing me out. QB Halloween's the best example. Adam Sandler has eight to ten characters that he can play. He picks one of those characters and formulates a movie around that character, right? Instead of coming up with a story and then characters that fit into that story well, he then, he picks a character and says, how do I wedge this character that I know how to play into a movie, okay? Which is exactly what he did to Hubie Halloween. If you watch a scene of Hubie Halloween, which I'll literally pull up right now, you're going to say, why is he acting like that? Like, it doesn't make sense. Well, hello, my good Thank you so much. Spooky fun gets out of hand. <laughs> No, no. The supermarket selling expired bacon. Janet at the library has not been herself lately. I heard of Janet at the library has not been herself lately. It's it's the same character he's played before. He's already played this character in three other movies. He plays the the character that talks like this, and he's he's kind of not that smart, and and just is really humble and nice to people, but kind of overdramatic in most ways. That is Adam's. Anyone can play this Adam Sandler character. It is really just a voice and moving your lips in a certain manner. He already did this in Waterboy and many other movies. It's not hard. It, 
it's a character that he wedges into a movie. That's why it's bad. I still think Adam Sandler has great movies. Both grown-up movies are fire. Uh, what else? Uh, fucking Longest Yard, one of the best movies I've ever fucking seen, dude, by Adam Sandler. Happy Gilmore's fire. Like, I'm not going to sit here and say he doesn't have good movies. But he himself is not a good actor. The 709 hopping at Skillful for the sub high level for the three. I really only watch VODs, uh, so I was happy to catch you live. Hope you're having a great day. Breddy for the sub. Uh, Kidder for the sub. The Pen for the thousand biddies. Adopt me, Joe. Impulse for the sub. Lucky for the three. My da grandpa died of cancer when I was one. I'm sorry to hear that. Uh, I've had to live with the fact that I've never seen him face to face. You've helped me with that. Well, I mean, I'm glad I could help, but dude, uh, that still sucks. Paco for the sub. Minecraft Ganja for the sub. Du Bois for the three. How should I tell her parents? Because she was out driving. She crashed her car. I was on the phone with her, and she said she hates her life, and I heard the crash. Wow. Uh, I mean, just talk to the parents. Just be straight up with them. I don't think they're going to be mad at you. You couldn't have done anything about it. NP Mason and Bitrate for the sub wobble for the three. Don't feel bad. I mean, like, if they called you and were like, I'm going to kill myself, and then just kill themselves on the phone, like, that's not your fault. Um, it's still tragic, but it's not like, don't beat yourself up saying you should have hey, done Joe, something else. Hey, my sister else. has this YouTube account that pulled an apt 10k a month, and she only posted nine vids by then. Her account was linked to her then-boyfriend's bank account, and to change the bank account, she needs a verification number from her- From her boyfriend's bank. He won't budge, and he's been spending all the money and harassing her online. How do I contact YouTube to help us unlink the account? Uh, I'm asking, since you've been the creator for a year, how do I contact them for help? YouTube support. Just Google YouTube support. Type in the channel link, and then you'll get contacted with a representative. Uh, that or just actually sue them because they're technically stealing your money. Uh, the boy toxic for the for the three. Uh, I'm back after being gone for a while. Coach has been fun. Uh, already read that. Uh, and the 709 for the sub. Look at this PA. Am I going to fit in this? He's not a good director. He's a good actor. I would say the exact opposite. I would say there's a lot of good movies that uh, Adam Sandler has been a part of making that are better than movies that he's been in as an actor. Um, like, I think Benchwarmers is a movie that he directed, or at least was a part of, and that movie's one of the funniest movies I've ever seen. All right, I'll try not to text and drive. It's private property. It's technically <laughs> legal here. <laughs> oh, here we go. Don't jinx it. I feel like I'm in NASCAR. I'm having so much fun. This feels like Fast and Furious. Dude. There's just something so massive. They're going like 30 miles an hour. I'm fucking ripping that shit. When I tell you I'm going fucking as fast as the car will let me go around that fucking bend. And about driving overpriced, They're like loud cruising. Old cars. They're doing a cruise lap. Rip it, Cody. Fucking step on the gas. Private racetrack. On a private racetrack. <laughs> Hold on, I got a set of texts. No. I'm, kidding. I'm crashing this. Please don't. Car. Oh, oh, oh my God, we're doing donuts in a million dollar car. <laughs> and while the game's whizzing around the track, I want to show you the next car. This two million dollar limited edition. Oh. Oh, Bugattis are so fucking good looking. Hydrogen car. No joke, this car is completely powered by hydrogen. And actually All right, how do you get how do you get fuel for your car? It's a prototype, but how do you get fuel for your car? It exhales drinkable water as exhaust. Wait, this isn't a Bugatti. Wow, that Oh my god, this is that fucking weird car we watched a video on. Wow, they really copied the fucking style of the Bugatti though, didn't they? Two Am I wrong? Like, that's all, um, that seems like a copy. That looks just like a Bugatti Veyron. Uh. This is a Bugatti. And then this is the car. Dude, they look so similar. Uh, Aussie for the three. What about uncut gems? I haven't actually seen that. This is whack for the sub piece for the three. You're a cutie patootie. I was told that Adam Sandler is a really good actor in uncut gems. And I, okay, maybe, right? I'm not doubting his acting capabilities all around. I'm saying his recent movies, he's been playing characters rather than roles. Hoppin for the sub. EA and Ash for the sub.
Uncut Gems is the worst Adam Sandler movie ever. Uncut Gems is the highest rated Adam Sandler movie that he's ever been in. Rotten Tomato wise. I'm not talking audience score. I'm saying critic review. Uncut Gems has an amazing rating. Every other Adam Sandler movie gets like zeros. Million dollar limited edition hydrogen car. What about Pixels? No way you're going to use Pixels as, as a fucking good movie. No way you're going to try and tell me Pixels was a good movie. It was mid. Not bad. Mid. No joke, this car is complete. An average movie. Completely powered by hydrogen and actually exhales drinkable water as exhaust. But the car is still being developed. So this is just a prototype. I don't think I've ever struggled this much to get in how a car. How do you fuel it up? Woo. All right, let's see how she closes. It's creaking. First impressions, door kind of slow. We're about to turn on the road. This is a really big deal because this car has never been driven on a road before. Oh, you should have told me before I got in. They built this car as a- Oh, do you hear the car just constantly going eh, 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 creaking? Like it's like half put together. Before. Oh, you should have told me before I got in. They built this car as a proof of concept, so driving it on the road is questionable. Oh, look at that lady over there. That person over there is literally filming our car. <laughs> and while we're driving, I want to tell you about the Samsung Galaxy Z Flip 5 phone. And what's special about this phone is it literally folds in half. Boom, half the size. Also, I'd wear a seatbelt, but it doesn't have one. That I haven't gotten that far yet. <laughs> the folding screen on the Flip 5 makes... What's the point of having a foldable phone? What, 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 why? 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 Like, why have a flippable phone? the phone fit in your pocket better and also allows you it's, it fits in your pocket better use two apps at the same time show let me show you on the bottom half of the phone i have google and on the top half we're watching a mr beast video oh really oh. carl <laughs> oh snap bro this boy gets up there yeah even though this oh, car really? uses hydrogen instead of gas it still has a range <laughs> i so, yo i actually uh, there was one time a kid recognized me in public and he asked for a picture, and he pulled out one of the Samsung, like, flip phones, um, like, with the touchscreen. And I almost asked him about it. I almost said, like, why do you have that phone? Like, and that, not making fun of it. I was just like, what made you want that, right? Like, outside of a regular phone. Like, maybe, uh, I feel like the only reasoning you could give is it fits in my pocket. Of over like, what else would you say? Miles that would have been rude. I don't think that would have been rude. I, I've just never seen somebody in public have that phone. Top speed of 221 miles. It is cool, but I feel like I would rip it. You know what I mean? Because it's a touch screen, but it's foldable. I feel like I'm 100% one day just flipping that bitch too hard, and it's just I, now I got two phones. And it creases. Yeah, no, I feel like it'd be a problem. Miles per hour. And another cool thing about this phone is it can record in 4K 60 FPS. You can even record while it's folded. In fact, the Samsung Galaxy S23 Ultra is the official vlog camera of the channel. Oh, listen to that engine. What? That's Yo, such a Samsung probably paid fucking $30 million for that to be the official vlog camera. Oh, my God. Cool sound. It literally has a front-facing camera even when you close it down. The Flip 5 is the most innovative phone Samsung has ever made. Click the link in the description to cop one right now. Do it. There's a I lot of cars. kind of look cool. I mean, everyone, I will get away from my $2 million car. <laughs> I'll see you at the next car. Back at the racetrack, we have the most exotic and powerful car yet. Costing $10 million, this Koenigsegg Vader. Is the only one in existence. So this is. That's what I said. I said it's going to be a one of a kind. The world's fastest production car. Oh my god. World's fastest production car. What do you think it goes? High twos, probably like two sixty. Two seventy. God. And with literal crushed diamonds in the paint, the insurance companies would only let the owner drive it. That's probably the coolest door I've ever seen in my the life. The insurance companies would only let the owner drive it. You're crazy. All right, let's do this. Do this. Fun fact, I made a grown man cry. Really? Yeah, I scared the crap out of him. <laughs> I'm going to put my head back so I don't get whiplash. How is it so fast? I never... 
One second. The reason this car is one of the fastest on the planet is because of its twin turbocharged V8 engine. And the fact that it's in two V8 engines. Higher frame is made out of air core carbon fiber. Wait, no, twin turbocharged. Wait, twin means two engines, right? Can't weigh 500 pounds less than a Lamborghini. Or two turbos. Is it one engine or two turbos? I've never witnessed anything like this before. Twin turbo V8. So that means two turbos and one engine, not two engines. Because I know some cars, I think Bentleys can have two engines. <laughs> or some shit. Or like a V12 or a V10. I know Bentleys have weird ass engines. <sighs> it's like riding in a roller coaster. I'm going to Google how fast that car goes. Top speed. 284. Oh, it has 1,341 horsepower. Hard as pounded. <laughs> Yo, what do you think the gas mileage is on that? Three miles a gallon, maybe. Four miles a gallon. <laughs> well, that was awesome. Thank you, sir. Thank you. Let's go hang out with Jay Leno and see what a $20 million car looks like. Now you're uh getting into luxury shit. God, Jay Leno, man. All right. Jay Leno was the king of The Tonight Show for over 20 years. Today, he's the proud owner of one of the most impressive car collections in the world, including this $20 million McLaren F1. Did, did it just start doing that because of you? It's high tech. <laughs> Robbers, don't try that. And what makes it so valuable? It's a V12, carbon fiber. It's extremely light, and it was 241. And they never drive that motherfucker. I, that is the epitome of fuck you money. I, somebody, okay, not even outside of that, right? Do any of y'all have an uncle or a grandpa or some shit that has like a 1960s Corvette that just sits in their garage? And they never fucking drive it. Like ever, like ever. I know like six people that have fucking the same Corvette. And it's like, it's like worth like 60 grand. Like it's a decent, it's a decent fucking car. Or maybe a little bit more. But I'm like, why not drive it? Like, I don't get that. Like rich, rich or not. Rich, middle class, whatever. If you have a car, drive the fucking car, right? Like, I don't care if I owned a, this $20 million car. I'm going to the fucking grocery store in that thing. One miles an hour, which is still the fastest for a non-turbocharged, non-supercharged. Use it. It's the same thing with shoes. Like why? Like why do people? I have, bro. Literally, I wore these. I wore these out yesterday. My turbo greens, and people will be like, "Oh, they're starting to crease. Oh, they're starting to crease. They're fucking shoes. Wear them." What's the point of having them if you're not going to fucking wear them? Like, what? Also, Chad, I bought pine greens. They're not here yet. I'll show you guys when they get here. We'll do an unveiling. I bought Jordan 1 pine greens. Hold up, I'll show you guys the shoe. I haven't bought shoes in a year and a half. Uh, or, like, nice shoes. I bought, like, lifting shoes that are, like, $40. But, hold up. This is just a random photo. I bought these. <laughs> They're eh? No, those shits are fire. Zell for the sub, exploit for the sub. Now I could be rocking green fits. Hopping for the three. I get the other flip phone, but it's either too big or too small. The one in the video is kind of stupid. Uh, gone for the three. That's my boy uh, is the best Adam Sandler movie. Braden for the three. Been watching for a while. Recently shot in the shoulder and the right knee. Holy fuck. Are you okay? How do you get shot? I'm getting surgery on my knee. Terry and Ash for the sub. EA for the sub. And Stars for the sub. Car. I'll show you something kind of cool. I got three seats, as you can see. Wow. The car is about. Look at the Jordan 1 taxis. 
I'm not looking up any other shoes today. I already know people are going to start spamming me to look up shoes. Uh, those are so ugly, bro. I'm going to keep it real. They're, they, you know, I, yo, these are selling on StockX for retail price. That's how you know they're ugly as fuck. Not ugly, okay? Actually, no, they work. They work, but they only work with, like, brown, black, brown or black, really. Ugh. Like, I don't know. It's just, like, it's too yellow. Like, the green, I, I think, matches better than yellow, but I, th I think these are actually fire, okay? I'll take back what I said. I'll take back what I said. But there's another version. Hold up. Where's the shittier one? These. These are fucking gross. The all black ones. Not the high OGs. The pollens. That's what these are fugly as fuck. These are the ugliest shoes ever. Oh my god, dude. Ugh. Gross. 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 It's it, it just matches the black and the black, white, and yellow matches better than just black and yellow. And the yellow on the fucking pollen is like it looks like pollen. Ghost for the sub. 2,300 pounds. You're most yeah, those are like mustard. Literally, like, like not honey mustard. Like like some fucking weird-ass brown mustard. Not in cars or 4,000. It's more comparable to Nolan's Yeah, those mom. are ugly. Those are the ones that sell for retail price. I got them wrong. Uh, the taxis don't. But the pollen sell for like 150 on StockX. That's how you know they're a shitty shoe. Because the resellers are trying to sell it to you for the price they bought it at. Mom than another car. That's right, exactly. Yeah, yeah. In fact, Nolan's mom was really the one they used it's as the benchmark. <laughs> you guys want to go for a ride? Uh, of course. Oh, There's no drive. way getting in that middle seat is actually comfortable. Oh, it's not bad. <laughs> yeah, it's not bad. It does not look bad at all. It's comfortable. There's a middle seat and then two on the sides? Oh, oh that's actually fucking sick. It's oddly comfortable to have three seats like this. Yeah, it is pretty interesting. Yo, why would it? Why did they not make cars like that to begin with? Like, why is it left and right instead of in the middle? Like, why is the wheel on one side? Interesting. Because normally this is where the wheel is. Or, or if you were in England, this is where this wheel would be. Oh, that's right. Yeah. Well, you could be in England. You could be in America. <laughs> How long have you had this car? What year were you born? 1998. Actually, I got this in 98. I popped out of my mom, and he's like, you know what? Let's that's celebrate right. by buying this that's car. That's right. Now, here's the second part. I'm your dad. Oh. <laughs> oh. How rich is Jay Leno? Interesting. How much did you buy this for? I paid eight hundred thousand. Wow. And I he bought paid eight hundred k for a twenty million dollar car. Bro, sell that bitch. Sell that bitch. I am not keeping that mother. Well, he is a car collector. Oh my god, I'm instantly selling that motherfucker. Bought and people thought oh, you'll never get your money back. In. But then it just went up and up and up and up. And now they're twenty million dollars. You know, so it's it's crazy. This car basically made you a million dollars a year every year you've owned it. I guess that's fair to say. Yeah. Carl, what do you think of the car? I like it. What's stopping you from buying one? Um, nineteen point nine million dollars. <laughs> Have you ever had a wreck? Oh yeah, I've had a lot of wrecks. Ah, Carl's got twenty mil. Carl surely got 20 mil in the bank. Surely. Nah, maybe 10. Carl, Carl gets mad fucking YouTube money, though. God, actually, maybe not. Does he post that much anymore? What is his fucking YouTube channel? I look up Carl Jacobs and this dude shows up. He's making 14 cents a year and is doing some demon look. Not 20 million. I he's got two or three. Yeah, maybe. Yeah, I'm probably I'm probably overshooting how much he's worth. But I mean, he's a part of the Mr. Beast crew. Thank you so much for taking us out. No problem, guys. That was perfect. These next two cars are so expensive that they are literally locked away in a museum at all times. Combined, they cost $80 million, and somehow we convinced the museum to give us the cars. Looking good. And this is where the video gets literally mind-blowing. Crank this bad boy up. Oh, That's wow. the 30 miller. Let's hear the 50 miller. Not gonna lie, I like the $50 million one a little better. So I jumped in the $50 million car with that donuts. That car looks so uncomfortable. 
Fifty million dollars for fucking shit. Bro, he's gonna be sitting with his knees to his chest. Now I want a little better. So I jumped in the fifty million dollar car with Donut Media, and Chandler got in the thirty million dollar car with Bo Bachman, the car legend. You ready? Are you ready? I'm ready. Let's do this. There's one Mr. Beast uh, viewer that just shit themselves that Bo Bachman's in the car with Chandler. One Mr. Beast viewer went, "Oh no fucking way, Bo Bachman! Oh the, the fucking legend!" The reason the car that Chandler is in is so expensive is because it was specifically constructed as a gift from Whoa. the founder of Ferrari to the founder of Ford. This is the only version of this Ferrari ever made in human history. Oh, watch out for this bump. No scrapage. Okay, you don't really notice how like crappy the street is until you drive something that's $50 million. The car we're in is the most expensive Jaguar in existence. It was the legendary actor Steve McQueen's daily driver. And he got so many speeding tickets driving it that his license- Who's Steve? McQueen was actually suspended. I'm noticing every single pothole though. And because these cars are so expensive, we have an entire police escort dedicated to making sure nobody comes close to the cars. This is insane. Hey, get some speed. Uh, how's it Lightning drive? McQueen. Beautiful. Yeah, I think it's I think it's uh the actual Lightning McQueen's car. Woo! Even though he is a car. Oh, lost the hat. Oh my hat! Oh well. <laughs> And while we were all having fun, Bo Bachman pushed the $30 million car to its absolute limit. Oh, yeah, wait, Bo wait, wait. Bachman's really letting that one rip. Hold on. Oh, he broke the car. Hold on, the car stopped. Hold on one second. We hit it too, too hard. <laughs> the $30 million car stalled. We're going to hop out of these things before we break them. Let's go drive the 100. <laughs> I'm shitting myself if I'm Bo Bachman. I ain't fronting that 30 mil. <laughs> oh, the car just fucking stalled and flipped off the bridge. I don't know what happened. I, like, I just, it just wrapped around the tree. Million dollar world's first Ferrari. It's really old? Well, yeah, and they also don't drive them. Most people would imagine a $100 million car would look something like this. But you'd be surprised to find out that this is the $100 million car. God damn, dude. That looks like some shit Mickey would drive. What the fuck? This car is so historic and valuable that this museum representative is the only person on earth allowed to drive it. It's only allowed to be driven on this bridge. We had cops completely close the roads, and we even had street cleaners fill in every pothole and clean the- Sweeping off the fucking dust. The entire street to ensure that nothing damages this $100 million car. This is gonna be crazy! All right, and now we're on the bridge! Oh my god. It looks like a toy car. It looks like a Hot Wheels car. Why is it so tiny? Look at that. Like his arm could touch the ground. A hundred million dollars barreling down the street. Barreling down the street. Briskly driving fucking 30 miles an hour. Oh, I keep losing my- he, Yeah, he lost another hat. A hat! He lost his hat! <laughs> That's the second time! Most expensive car comes with a free hat. Come on. Come on. This is awesome. What the fuck? Why is the exhaust blue? It's one thing more fun than this. Jesus Christ, this guy is just fucking zoned. And what's so historic about the car that it makes it worth that much? I feel like a more historic car would be the car that JFK got shot in. Like, if I had to think of the most historic car ever, the one JFK got shot in is the first car that I'm assuming. All right. Oh, it's the first ever Ferrari. Oh, they said that? For it! It looks like it's about, it looks like it's about to be on its last ride. Let's go! Oh my God! God. Dude, it's barely even going. Awesome! I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Let's drop a nuke on the bridge. Arc for the sub, fin for the sub, ghost, and stars for the sub. That was a W video. All right. Next one. You've got, you guys were spam recommending this in the video suggestion tab. Also, if you have any video uh, you, videos you want me to react to or games you want me to play, exclamation point, Discord, mods for the Discord link. Send videos that you want me to react to or games you want me to play in the video suggestion tab, game suggestion tab. It's how I find a lot of the, rea uh, the react videos and the games that I play on stream. Today's going to be uh, reacts, obviously. Tomorrow is unbanned and Subnautica at 4.30. 
Tuesday, I won't be live. Wednesday, we're going to be doing scary games at 4.30, like Parasocial, Garden of Bonbon 3. Thursday is going to be a react day because Friday at 5 is the Twitch Rivals Showdown. Party Animals, me, JoJo, Zussi, uh, T. Nichols on a crew to win the $70,000 prize pool, which of which we're probably going to get last place and get 100 bucks. But nevertheless, we're going to try. And then Saturday will be Prison Sim. All right. What is Twitch Rivals? Twitch Rivals is basically a thing Twitch does, which is actually pretty cool, uh, where uh, they get a bunch of streamers together to go against each other in a game. Uh, Party Animals is hosting the one that's this Friday, uh, and it's teams of four, uh, and there's a bunch of people. Hold up. So I'm doing reactions on Thursday. We're not doing Fortnite or Val this week because the Party Animals is Friday. Uh, I can actually just read some of the streamers. Chilled Chaos, me, I'm Dante, KYR Speedy, Chris Melberger, uh, T. Nichols, Hannah X. Rose. Uh, I think these are the captains, actually, uh, other, other than T. Nichols. Uh, and there's a bunch of other people. They don't have it fully set yet. Uh, but how many teams are there going to be? 32 players. Uh, so how many teams? What does 32 divide by four? Eight. So there's eight teams of four people, and I'm one of the three. Team All right. I think Dante's a team captain, too. All right. Girl trades real life for virtual world, instantly regrets it. Or not 32 teams, 32 players. Wait, did they say 32 teams? No. Three, I think it's two, 32 players. One. Yeah, 32 players. All right. I'm about to read the title for the fifth fucking time. Girl trades real life for virtual world. Instantly regrets it. Lock in here, chat. Hey, are you guys having fun? Are we? This party is lit, Charlie. Best party of the year, hands down. <laughs> Best party of the year. This party's fucking lit. <laughs> There's like five people there. It's like, it's more so a friend, a friendly gathering than a party. Thank you. I'm actually about to open the pool and jacuzzi in a few. I've got towels and bathing suits for everyone. Oh, you girls look so pretty. Stop. Charlie, look at you, you look incredible. And those shoes, <laughs> so fire. Let's do everybody, let's dance. Go, mom. Mm -hmm. I hate this. <laughs> And what about this is lit in any way whatsoever? Early, a little good. Chanel, are you kidding me? Thank you so much, Mom. Hey, parties and movies. Now, parties and movies. Well, it depends what movie you're watching. Like, this would be like high school musical party. Clayton, I'm so glad you came. Wow, you look amazing. <laughs> And nice bag. Oh, thanks. My mom just gave it to me. I'm actually going to go put it in my room over your back. Hey, don't take too long. I'll miss you. Oh, God. <laughs> She's going to be gone for like two minutes. You don't got to say you miss her. She could be gone for like a minute. I see your boo is here. That was really just cringe. That was, that was just cringe. He was gonna kiss me. The anticipation is killing me. It's gonna happen today. Just wait. What do you think you're doing? Excuse me? You heard me. You keep messing with my man and we're gonna have a problem. Your man? Mm-hmm. I would say, bitch, this is my house. Get the fuck out of here. <laughs> Leave! It's your house. You don't got to take shit from anybody. Tell them to fuck off. You don't want this smoke, sis. Trust me. Leave her alone. Oh, God. You don't want the smoke, sis. You don't want these fucking hands. You don't want to catch her fucking hands. <sighs> Mess with the bull. You're about to get the fucking horn. Ah! Oh, there he is. Oh. <laughs> I knew it was you. He's a skinwalker. I was actually wondering. Hey. He's a skin. Oh. Charlotte. Charlotte. Oh, frozen the meta quest too. Oh God! It's the she. 
She succumbed to Mark Zuckerberg's fucking reality. Jesus, she succumbed to the metaverse, chat. What the heck, Mom? You just ruined everything. Clayton was about to kiss me. Clayton? How the hell would they simulate that in a fucking VR headset? Who's Clayton? Oh, your avatar boyfriend. Oh <laughs> my god, he's not even a real person? I thought it was just somebody that she actually liked in, in person that she had on the VR headset. Hey, look, he isn't real. Oh. You don't know who's really behind that screen. Sweetheart, I just want you to be careful, okay? He is real, and I do know him, and everyone in the VR world. They all live around here. I've even got their phone numbers and everything. All right. <laughs> Bro, in the VR world, you're about to be in VR chat, dressed as a furry or like Elmo, walking around, cursing other people out in VR chat. That's not how VR works, right? You, it's not an accurate depiction of you as an, an, an individual, and you're hanging out with people in a fucking house that look just, look just like their actual person, physical self, right? You're going to be dressed as Kermit the Frog, fucking walking around. Oh, fuck off. You're just going to be cursing people out. Right? And how many of them have you met in real life? <laughs> Literally, hold up. Oh my god, what is that one guy? God, he's one of my favorite YouTubers. Dude, he's so funny. I gotta pull his shit up. I gotta show you. We gotta take a break. We gotta take a break here. I don't give a fuck if I'm off, off topic. Good griefs. Oh, he doesn't do VR chat. He only does VR poker. Good griefs, VR poker. We're chilling, and you're you know just what? having a You cry. know what? If you guys want to go down this route, I'll just hop on the Discord and let everyone... Yeah. Look his name. Yeah. Fuck, where's the clip? Dude, there's what... He's so funny. Good griefs hit me. TikTok. I hate trying to find shit on TikTok, dude. It's impossible. It's actually impossible. Oh, his name is Good Griefs YT. All right, here it is. I'll pull up his TikTok because I know the clips on it. God, there's not one. All right, here's a different one. What the fuck? I didn't even switch classes. What the f It's gun game. Chat, my gun literally changed as soon as I got a kill. I didn't even switch classes. What the f It's gun game. How it works. Chat, it did it again. Uh, look, I'm not pressing Y. Look, I'm not pressing Y. Look at the screen. Look. <laughs> you, you might be new to Call of Duty. This is what happens when you press Y, chat. Nothing happens. My gun's not changing. Somebody get him out of here. Hey, someone on my, someone on my team. Let me kill you so I can show my chat something. Nobody on your team. It's everybody for themselves. Chat, look, you did it again. I just got another kill and changed my gun. It's chat. The Dude, there's one. Playing. There's one where he's like, oh, so scary, right, chat? And it's like the funniest shit ever. He's like, oh, I'm shivering, right, chat? <laughs> no, I got to pull that up. I have to pull that up. I literally. Where is it? Fuck. Chat, it's so funny. I need to show you guys. Oh, I'm going to be so pissed if I can't find it. Dude. One of my mods find that TikTok and send it to me. And then I'll fucking play it whenever they find it. He goes, oh, I'm shivering. Oh, I'm literally screaming. Right, chat? <laughs> and the guy gets like, he's like, we're not even making fun of you. And he's like, oh, I'm so fucking scared. I'm pissing my pants and crying. Right, chat? Exactly. Mods find the video. This is why I told your grandma. They'll find it in a minute. Watch. Mother, it was not a good idea to get you an Oculus. Okay, let's just drop it. You have to get to school. Oh, honey, wait. I got you something. I want to watch more of his TikToks. Yo, you guys want to watch one more? One more, though? Yo, one more. One more. One more, then we get back to Darman. I already found it. No, you already fucking found it. Dude, I, I can't see his pinned. Oh, my God. Is this it? No. Hey, Sam, can we chat? What the fuck is this? 
Oh, I'm so scared, right, chat? Oh, Godson, thank you for the one gifted sub, and you said you wanted a uh, Ulu, right? All right, here you go. Oh well. There you go. What just yeah. happened? <laughs> Boy, it's crazy. And it, once again, chat, I welcome the hate. I really don't care. It's actually kind of funny that people like literally hate so much. Like, I don't care. He cares. But I'm just gonna say it one more last time. If you have a problem with me or the way I run my stream, there's a simple mute button and there's also a leave game button. So. Bro, it's just so corny ass stuff. Like, nobody taking you seriously. You're like, shut your ass up. Like, you don't know. So funny. He never breaks character. <laughs> oh, yeah, so funny that I for actually that I actually forgot to actually laugh. I was fake laughing. I was fake laughing. Uh, it really didn't matter to me. Oh. Oh. Hey, guys, from now on, the $2 donations I'm not going to acknowledge. Oh. <laughs> hey, guys. <laughs> Nah, that shit is hilarious, bro. Imagine if I said that. Yo, chat, from now on, I'm just not going to acknowledge $5 donos, bro. Sorry. Oh. Hey, guys, from now on, the $2 donations I'm not going to acknowledge. Chat, does he want to 1v1 me? You guys want to see him get his ass kicked in a 1v1? <laughs> but I guarantee you, chat, he doesn't have the money chat. to back it up. Because I only play 1v1s for money. Dude, I got the money to back it up. Oh, really? Go on bro, my stream and donate $100. I'm not uh, donating bro. shit. To you, to then 1v1 you can't one v one me. If you can't, oh. I don't want to one v one you. Yes, Jim. Thank you, Jacqueline, for the five. Thank you, Jacqueline, for the five dollars. Here's your one whipper. I mean, it would be called a. It would be called a whipper. Dude, but only. Yo, what? Give me your stream name. Oh my God. What stream are you on? Which are you on Twitch? Now he's trying to stream tonight, man. <laughs> I'm, I mean, thank you. He's already in your. All right. What's his name? Good griefs. Yt. Bro, somebody find the one where he's like, "Oh, I'm so scared. I'm pissing myself." Right, chat. Ho Chung for the three. Bella and Dalton for the sub. Bush, Evan, uh, Ava for the sub. Uh, he did for the three. As a three inch follower, that girl's so fine out. Okay, not reading that. Arc for the sub. Finn, Ghost, Stars for the sub. You did? Yeah. <laughs> you already found it? No way. Oh, I'm shaking my boots and trembling. I'm so scared. Oh, I'm shaking my boots and trembling. I'm so scared. <laughs> right, chat? Bro, can you shut the f up so I can hear the game, please? That yeah. is corny, bro. Ooh, hey guys, so this? corny. Oh, I'm shaking. I'm trembling. Ooh, I just poo my pants. <laughs> right, chat? Shut up, bitch. Oh, I'm so scared. The lights are turned out. I'm just a little baby boy underneath my my bed sheets. There's a monster standing in the corner. Ooh, right, chat? <laughs> I just don't know, bro. You're trying to scare me, chat. It's not working. What the f are Bro, we he just eggs it on too. He goes for so long. All right. Next video. Or not next video. Continuing on. Luke, thank you for the fucking 10 gifteds. Luke the Spook, thank you for the fucking 10 gifted subs. Thank you if you got one. Thank you for the 10 gifteds. Ho Chuck for the three says Flax, nobody redeemed it. Uh, and thank you for the 10 gifteds. Ooh, I'm so scared. I'm fucking crying and pissing myself. Right, chat? <laughs> right, chat? I should do that in Val. Fuck, should I do that? Yo, I want to copy that shit so bad. Just fucking get somebody so mad in a Valorant game. Oh, I'm so scared. Oh, I'm fucking crying and pissing myself. Oh, right, chat. Oh, he's going to do. Oh, he's, oh, he's going to kill me. Oh, right, chat. Dude, Valorant, it would get so brutal because you'd have to be in a. <laughs> that's the difference, right? Search could be quick. If you're in a Valorant game with somebody and you start that shit, you're going to be with them for an hour. What the heck is this? Well, I got it at a thrift store. It's cute, right? You don't like it? Well, we can take it back and get you something else. Why do you have to be so boring and cheap all the time? My VR mom throws me parties and even got me a Chanel bag. Your so VR mom. <laughs> thrift store crap. The tickets are only 12 You should go ask him the homecoming already, Charlotte. Yeah, right. Maybe if yeah, I was right, I already have a loyal VR boyfriend. Just like Charlie in real life. And maybe I have a chance with him. Did you forget that you're actually Charlie? Come on. Anthony is Bookside's equivalent to Clayton. If you can get Clayton, you can definitely land Anthony. There's no way. I look so ugly. No, you don't. You look so pretty. Now go over there and show him the real you. You got this. What are you doing? Keep those on. 
then he'll think I'm an even bigger loser. Because you're wearing glasses? What is this, the fucking 1920s? Uh, hey, Anthony. Hey, Charlotte. What's up? Uh, I was just wondering if, um, maybe you'd, uh, if you didn't have anyone to go with, uh, to maybe... I don't quite understand what you're asking. I was just saying that if, um, you'd like to go to homecoming with me, maybe. <laughs> Did you guys hear that? Charlotte? <laughs> Wants to go to homecoming with the Anthony. Did you really think the cutest guy in school? Oh my God, bro. Oh, what is this fucking, this just unreal beef, dude. Like, when would this ever happen? You ask somebody to homecoming and then some random ass fucking girl butts in and goes, oh, you really think you can ask the cutest guy in the whole school out? You really think you can pull him to homecoming? Ah, uh, honey. Like, shut the fuck up. I was gonna ask you, the biggest loser in oh school? Oh my god, oh my god, yo, punch her in the face. Punch her in the face, just start throwing, throwing hands right now. <laughs> <laughs> Come on, Charlotte, let's go. I am so sorry, Charlotte. Are you okay? Thanks a lot for defending me. Mariah would have beaten her up. Mariah? Oh, your virtual BFF? Fight oh my god, dude. Oh, see, now that's just sad, bro. My fucking VR friend would have beat him up. Oh, really? Sitting in a fucking gamer chair with an Oculus Rift on their head. Thing isn't going to solve anything, Charlotte. Violence is not the answer. That's easy for you to say. You weren't publicly like human. me fighting in Creed Boxing. Fucking VR. I'm just holding... Chad, it's really, I don't really think I'm going to be able to beat this guy. <laughs> Humiliated. I never should have trusted you. The last thing I ever wanted to do was hurt you. We've been best friends since the third grade. You know how much I care about you. The real you. Whatever. My VR friends are more real than you'll ever be. Oh. Just leave me alone. Here you guys go. Can I get you anything else? Hot cocoa, cocktail. <laughs> Just kidding. <laughs> kind of. Oh, but VR never feels this real. Like I have a VR headset. When you have a VR headset, it looks real. You you're still just standing in your room. Like you know it too, right? Like they're sitting next to each other. In reality, she's just sitting alone on her couch <laughs> with a fucking headset strap like squeezing her skull. <laughs> We're good. Thanks so much. Hey, uh, you all right? Somebody said you aren't a teen. You aren't a teen, brah. I know I'm not a teen. What is your point? I'm, ta I'm talking about how stupid this scenario is. What? Luke for the 10 gifted. Thank you for the 10 gifted, Luke the Spook. Uh, another 10 gifted subs there, bro. F dub in the chat for that shit. <laughs> Thank them if you got a sub. Thank you for the fucking 10 gifted. Uh, Ho-Chunk for the three. Long time since i seen you love the content. Keep it up. Thank you. Uh, and for the 369 bits, it's so long now. And for the sub heat, for the 25, my eye itch. My eye itch, how does yours feel? My eye feels fine right now. Vault for the sub. Uh, Ho-Chunk for the five. Luke for the sub. Luke, again, for another fucking, uh, gifteds. Uh, thank you for that. Uh, and River for the sub. Or not River for the sub. Really, River for the three. He says, love you, Joe. Thank you. He said, that's why it feels more real for her. It's because she's a teen. Chad, if you put a VR headset on right now and was dating a virtual person, would it feel real? No. Being a teenager has nothing to do with whether or not a VR headset world feels real. That's just perception, right? <laughs> what? It doesn't feel more... I, I understand what you're saying. Like, oh, she feels more, like, attracted to this guy that's not actually what he is in VR. But I'm saying, like, it, the way they're depicting the VR world is that it's, like, real. And it's not. Like, it, it's, it's just... You're wearing a fucking headset. That's what I meant? Okay. 
Well, if that's what you're saying, then yeah, I understand that. Like she's more attracted to him because it's like she wants it to be real, I guess. River for the three. I'm not doubting that. You seem a little off. Yeah, I'm fine. Clayton, I have a question. Yeah, sure. Oh, hold on. Your mic's cutting out. Oh, oh, sorry. Hold up. Uh, is that better? What's up? This is the real you, right? Like, what I can see. <laughs> yeah, of course it is, babe. <laughs> is this the real you? <laughs> yeah, I look like Kermit. <laughs> She's standing there in VR chat. <laughs> fucking, <laughs> fucking looking up at him. Yeah, this is this is this is actually what I look like. Yeah. <laughs> it is. This is actually what I look like. Pretty much. <laughs> you know, sometimes I wish this virtual world was the real world. Imagine. That would be amazing. I'd be way happier for sure. Then we could spend all of our time together. Wait, in the beginning, she kept saying she was waiting for him to kiss her. When they kiss, they're not actually kissing. They're just moving their VR headsets next to each other. In, like, a virtual world. Like, they can't kiss. They're just standing there. Like, they're just... It's like when I tried to kiss Sylvester Stallone in Creed Boxing. Like, I just moved my headset near his. Devin for the sub, Evan for the five. Or not near his, near his NPC character. Uh, love from Australia. Thank you. E-dating um, is so weird. This isn't what actual e-dating is like, though. There's no one there. Is it? Like, do people actually date in VR? I'm sorry. I'll be right back. Maybe. What now? I'm busy. Honey, I just want to talk to you, okay? Charlotte, I'm just concerned about you. Sweetie, you never spend time with Eliza anymore. And you don't spend time with me. All you do is spend time on this, this thing. So what? It's better than being out here. How can you say that? You don't even know these people. Yes, I do. And I can honestly say that my virtual mom is way better than you'll ever be. I wish I lived with her. Bro, she probably lives in a fucking dump. Like, you don't know. Like, this is some random woman that's acting like your mom. She's gonna set it up. Oh my god, she's gonna contact the actual mom. No. Be careful what you wish for, Charlotte. The grass is not always greener on the other side. Yep, there's the fucking, there's, there's the foreshadowing. You know what? Whoa, whoa, what, what are you doing? Hey, come back here. Give me my Oculus back. Clayton's waiting for me. I will not. I am your mother and it you is- You know, straight up, if I'm a parent and my kid says they'd rather have their VR mom or dad, I would take the headset and I would say you either get the headset or you get to stay in this house. And they pick one. It's my job to protect you. And, and that's it, right? At the end of the day, that's the end of the conversation. You can sleep outside with the headset. Stop, Mom. I'm serious. I am too. <gasps> Why are you such a helicopter mom? I don't that even me. I need you constantly babying me, okay? You say that now, but I promise you, you will thank me later. I am just trying to avoid you from getting hurt. Taking away my Oculus is hurting me. You know what? It doesn't matter. Because these people care about me, unlike you. So I'll go live with them. You absolutely will not. Yes, I will. Anything to get away from you. Ow! She's not even a bad mom, though. Like, all she said was, you sit on VR all day. <gasps> there she is, my little virtual daughter. <laughs> wow, you seem exactly the same. That's refreshing. Thanks for letting me stay here, Jan. Oh, call me mom. 
And you being here is cause for celebration. We should throw a party. <laughs> yeah, we should throw a party. Where's the cocaine at? That's what's going to happen. She's going to end up being like a druggie. Really? I mean, I'd love that. Yeah, but... let's get fun. Let's throw a fucking party. I'm not really dressed for a party. And then that's where it's going to go downhill. Well, yeah, you don't really look like the Charlie from the VR world that I know. Oh, here you go. Go get a new outfit, get your hair done, whatever you need. Wow, seriously? My real mom would never let I me do that. I so worried. <laughs> Number one, as a parent, I would never let this happen because, like, I feel like the odds that she's just going to sell this girl into some sort of human trafficking thing is, like, a one out of two chance, right? Like... You met this woman on VR, and you're staying at her house, and you've never met her. Like, she's going to kidnap you. That, especially by myself. Actually, I would say it's probably like an 85% chance. Well, 50-50. I think you have another mom, then. Like, who the fuck? Dude, if I was in a VR game and somebody was like, yo, can I crash at your house? I'd be like, fuck no. Like, what? Why, why do you think I would be in the video game? If I wanted to do this shit in real life, I, I would fuck. You would just do it in real life. Oh, and I think Clayton's going to be here, so. Actually, just have a child. Oh, you better look good. Oh, I'm going to go set up. <laughs> You're the best. Oh, no. <laughs> hey, uh, it's me, Charlie. Oh, wow. You've never called me before. Yeah, I know. But I was thinking, how would you like to hang out? Uh, yeah, let me get my headset. Uh, no, I don't, I don't mean online. I mean in person. I'm throwing a party, and I want you to come. <laughs> He's gonna Hello? Hang out. Yeah, I'm here. Uh, okay. Uh, I'll be there, babe, of course. <laughs> Perfect. I'll send you the address. Oh, my God. Can what are the odds he doesn't look like how he does in the game? What are the odds he's catfishing? You in person. Yeah. Me too. He about to pull up uh, looking like Mike Wazowski. Too soon. You just standing there fucking... Y'all, 100%. <laughs> Hi. See, is this the view? I wonder where Clayton is. He still hasn't responded to my texts or calls. He'll be here. And if not, I'll go to his house and drag him here. <laughs> See, this is why I love you. You are so much better than Eliza. Who wants a shot of tequila? Woo! Yeah, one tequila, two tequila, three drinking. Tequila floor. Oh. Mom, are you sure we should be handing out shots? I mean, everyone is under eight. Oh. Bring in the nose beers! Pop down that fucking booger sugar! Let's, okay. let's get it going, right? <laughs> Fuck it. Where's the needles at? And you're gonna be like, Mom! <laughs> Mom! Hold up, can you tie my arm down real quick? Come on, Charlie. Jesus Christ. Wait, have a little bit of fun. I'm an adult and I say it's okay. All right, who wants to get- She would so get arrested. Oh my God. Dude, because she's not even the parent of it. I'm pretty sure it's legal for a parent to give their kid alcohol on their property, even if they're underage. Correct me if I'm wrong. I think it depends on the state. But this woman is not related to any of these people. She's just hosting them. <laughs> Turn! <laughs> You're wrong. I, I got to Google that. You guys actually told me that. I didn't even know that. Can you serve your kid alcohol on your property if they're underage? Yeah. If you're if you're a parent and you and you allow your kid to drink on your property, that's technically not illegal. At least in New Jersey is what it says. If there's no law against it. In Europe, you can't have 14. That's the country's legal drinking age. In the United States, it's 21. Uh, in Europe, uh, it, they're, the legal drinking age is different all around. Our problem just arrived. You want me to hit her with a one-two? 
How did she get here? Why didn't they just not let her in the house? Like, this is real life, dude. She, this isn't a fucking joining a VR chat. Just tell her to fuck off. Literally, oh, you can't come in. I didn't invite her. Word travels fast in the real world. This is gonna be interesting. I mean, seeing that everybody else looks exactly how they did in the VR world, I would assume they're real in the regular world as well. So, like, if Clayton shows up and he doesn't look like himself, that'll be really weird. Yeah, because that's what drunk people do. They just manically chase each other around the fucking couch. Hey, have you seen my mom? It's getting crazy in here. I think we need to shut this party down. No, we aren't shutting anything down. Let it go all night. Mom? Mom! Oh, 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 Charlie! <laughs> you want another shot? Ooh. No, Mom! We need to end this party now! No, I was just getting started! This is becoming a dis- Roll her on her side. If she throws up, she might die. Little tip. If you're ever, if you're ever in college and you're with somebody that gets way too drunk, uh, don't let them lay on their back. Uh, cause if, or drugs as well. Cause if they throw up, they'll choke on it and die. Um, disaster. And, and that happens a lot, actually. Top of that, Clayton still hasn't texted me back. Remember what I told you? We can roll out right now and go to his house. I actually don't have his address. Breaking Only Bad? Yeah, that happened break. Well, Breaking Bad, it was an, o it was an OD off of what? Heroin or meth? Number. Maybe I should text him again? You just don't listen, do you? I told you to leave Clayton alone. Excuse me? You're done. <gasps> no, we're not. That was a terrible punch. She went in like this. Like a fucking mallet. World star! World Police. star! We have reports of underage drinking here. Please, please. Please. Uh, they probably wouldn't really arrest you. Like when frat parties get shut down, everybody just leaves. They just make you leave unless you're being like a dick. Hey, mom. Joe, you're not the police? Yeah, but every frat party I've ever been to has gotten shut down, and they just make everybody leave. Like, they literally just say, go home. And you go, okay, and then you leave. This is high school? That's true. But, I mean, when you think about it, how many people at frat parties in college aren't legally allowed to drink? Like, frats will let you in if you're not 21. They're not IDing you. Like, when you show up to a frat party, they're just letting you in if you go to the college. If you attend the university, they'll let you in. Unless you're a guy. If you're a guy, you have to show up with, there's a ratio, and then you have to pay. Frats don't give a fuck. You call me back. I'm in a lot of trouble, and I really need your help. Please. <coughs> oh, God, is she actually going to die? Yo, I said to fucking, I said to fucking roll her on her side. She's about to die. What is a frat? A fraternity. Colleges have fraternities and sororities. What a fraternity is, is a group of guys that uh, live in a house and they throw parties and do charitable shit. And like, sometimes they like have like clubs and all this other stuff too. Sororities is the same thing, but sororities go to frat parties. Frat parties usually have a designated sorority that is linked to their frat party, and they usually go to each other's frat parties, or the sorority girls usually go to those frat parties a lot, right? Some nights it'll just be the sorority going to the frat party, and it's just the frat guys and the, and the sorority girls, but a lot of the time they'll throw parties where you show up and pay, and as a guy you go with a three-to-one ratio, and then you're allowed in, uh, and it's just a party. Uh, but they don't card you like a nightclub would. They just let you in if you go to the college. I hate frat parties, but I go to, I'll go to like the Halloween frat party. Uh, like, cause it's like an event. It's like a, it's, it's like a college thing. 
to go to a frat party on Halloween. They, they look fun. Yeah, you think they look fun, and then you get into a frat, and then you walk into the basement, and it's 120 degrees, and everybody's standing shoulder to shoulder, and there's, like, four people vomiting in a corner, and, like, people get into a fist fight. Uh, the alcohol's really shitty, uh, and so you kind of have to bring your own stuff. Uh, because they're not going to give you free alcohol, even though you paid to get in. Are you in a frat? I would never join a frat. Frats have so many problems. Whenever you hear about, like, somebody dying at a university of drinking, it's at a fraternity. Fraternities, uh, fr fraternities get into so much shit, uh, I would never want to be a part of that. There are some frats that are actually, like, really charitable and don't throw parties and stuff. Uh, most people would call them nerd frats, but, like, most frats are frats that are just throwing parties. It's an experience. Yeah, it's a part of the college experience. But at the end of the day, like when you experience a frat and then like you actually go to like a nightclub or some shit or a bar, you're going to be like, this is more fun. Let's go. You made bail. Sororities don't throw parties. You're free to go. What? How? Who made the bail? Oh, Clayton did? Oh my God, see, this is it. Clayton's not gonna be a real person. Hey, I saw that you bailed me out. Thank you so much, babe. <laughs> no problem. Crazy you ever think I'm paying for uh, your fucking VR girlfriend's bail. They've never even met. I uh, heard about the party. Glad you're all right. Sorry I couldn't make it. It's okay, but why didn't you come to the jail so I could see you? Oh, uh, they wouldn't let me inside. Are you doing anything right now? I could come to your place. Uh, well, shoot, something just came up. Uh, I'll call you right back. <laughs> Wait, oh, what? something came up right when, right when they asked. You think Clayton's the mom? Chat, that wouldn't make any sense. That means the mom is flirting with her daughter. I don't think Clayton's the mom. I don't think Clayton's the mom. <laughs> that would be odd. Clayton's Anthony? You think Clayton's the actual guy that she asked to fucking... Oh my god! You think Clayton's the guy from high school that she asked to uh, go to homecoming with or whatever? He's just the dude at school. Oh, no, he's not. Wow. You are even hotter in real life. I, I thought you were going to be some kind of catfish. Thank God you're not. Uh, do I? Oh my god, it's the brother using his own brother as the catfish. Oh my god. Oh my god. No, or the friend or somebody's using him. Know you? <sighs> it's me, Charlie. It's the brother. Uh, I, I think you have the wrong house. No, I, I don't. You're Clayton, right? I'm your girlfriend. Uh, and the VR world. Virtual reality? I've never used a VR in my life. I mean, my dad does. Dad, do you know this girl? Look, there's no easy way to say this, but... How I does he... How does he sound like that? How did he sound like Clayton? I'm Clayton. I've been pretending to be my son this whole time. That's so weird. What? No, no, no. There's, there's literally no way. I heard your voice on the phone. Mm-hmm. Be surprised what you can do with right, AI. You got a fly flying around him. Oh, hell no. Man hasn't showered in three weeks. Days. I really hope this doesn't mean that you won't be my virtual girlfriend anymore. Oh, God. Dad, how could you do this? Liza, what are you doing here? I, your mom called me when you left. She sounded stressed, so I came over. Oh, thank God. I'm so glad. 
glad you're okay. I am so sorry. You can have the Oculus back, and I bought you something in it. It's not from the thrift store. Look, honey, you can have whatever you want. Just don't ever leave. Oh, don't cave as a fucking parent. Tell that kid to shut the fuck up. Say, hey, you're, you're grounded for a fucking month. Can't. My heart just couldn't handle it. I'm so sorry, Mom. Thanks, but I don't want the Oculus. Or a new purse. I love the life that I have. My real life. Let's just say you were right. I should be careful what I wish for because the grass is not always greener on the other side. Bang, there's the foreshadowing. Thank you for always being so caring and protective over me. Liza, I am so sorry for how I treated you. You were right about everything. And honestly, you're the best friend I could ever ask for. <laughs> Hopefully you're okay taking your loser friend back. Loser? You've never been a loser in my eyes. Yeah, I am. I couldn't even say five words to Anthony. I still can't believe I embarrassed myself. I don't myself think that makes you a loser. I think that makes you shy. Of him. He probably thinks I'm the biggest dork in the world. Uh, I don't think so. Yo, the hand soap. What is this fucking timing? The bathroom smells really good. Hey, you're here. We've been waiting on you. Uh, Anthony. Bro, she's been gone for like two days. Say, girl, for the three and the five, do you have a VR girlfriend? No, I have a in real life girlfriend, which I've almost been dating for two years. Uh, Brooke, she's been on my stream like fucking what, 30 times? Uh, Vin Vinisky for the sub, Bob for the sub, Sager for the 10. Joe's the best streamer ever. I appreciate that. Luke for the three. Uh, bet this dude looked like a baked bean. Guamador for the one, says she's a drug addict. May for the three. All the boy Caesars are slept over because the mom picked up her stuff. River for the three. Devin for the sub. Uh, all right. What are you doing here? <laughs> yeah, Joe dates IRL. He is a liberal. What? Well, I thought about what you asked, and, um... Joe dates IRL. He is a liberal. What's so your saying? Conservatives don't date IRL. What do you even mean? To go to homecoming with you. If that's okay with you, of course. Brooks a hologram. Wait, is this... Is this real life? Am I in the door? <laughs> so, what happened with your glasses? Right here. I think you look a lot cuter like this, Charlie. <laughs> is it okay if I call you Charlie? Yeah. Is it that our fucking name? Cool. <laughs> <laughs> She's going to homecoming. Are you kidding me? <laughs> oh, that was the girl that made fun of her in the beginning. Teriyaki for the sub. All right. That was an odd Darman video. Hold up. I got to go pee real quick. Then we'll watch the next one. Oh. All right. Kill me down, chat. 30 seconds.
next video. Facebook boomers, confused and scared. Teriyaki for the sub. This is a Papa Meat video. We've been watching a lot of Papa Meat recently. W, YouTuber. Did you wash your hands? No, I didn't. Uh, and I will say that wholeheartedly. Uh, if I take a piss in my own house, I will not wash my hands. Uh, unless I pee on my own hands, which I did not, right? Uh, if I take a shit anywhere, I'll wash my hands. If I pee in public, I will wash my hands. If I'm in my own house and I take a piss, I will not wash my hands. Being flat out, you could say, ew, I don't care. Facebook boomers, confused and scared, lock in here, chat. Average liberal. Yeah, what a liberal thing. Yeah, let's just try and tie politics into legitimately everything. Average liberal doesn't wash his hands after he pees. What a liberal thing to do. Huh. Facebook boomers confused and scared. Run for office. Joe, I'm 21. You can't run for presidential candidacy unless you're 35. Uh, so wait another 14 fucking years, and then I could run for presidency. Uh, even so, I would never want to do that. Lockin! Lockin, chat! Why don't you just call him Meat Canyon? Because this channel's Papa Meat, and he is Papa Meat. He's not Meat Canyon. Here's what everybody's been trying to tell you today, and I, I, I say this gently. Jesus You're Christ, like the skinwalker look is just, it, it, it's just, uh, oh my God. Look that smile. User agreement sucks. Happy Friday. Happy Friday. Facebook, a place where your mother, your grandma, your gr Do y'all use Facebook? I feel like it's really a Gen X and above thing. Like, I would say the people that use Facebook are almost always above the age of 35. Like, if you're Gen Z, which is basically everybody in this chat, um, millennials too, I really, Facebook is just not something that, that those generations use. I would say Gen X boomers, shit like that, right? Like old people. I understand Facebook Marketplace, but I'm saying like no one really posts on Facebook unless they're old. Great grandma, their moms and dads all dwell still. Feels like a collective breeding ground for all the old people to come together and say very, very cringy shit. I'm your Huckleberry, buddy. I'm your fucker Huckleberry. It's a place where boomers can come together and rejoice and give each other invites to cocktail hours at their local dive bar or where they're going to meet up for their pickleball games on Tuesday nights. But it's also a place for them to be very confused and hostile. It really does feel like... I think that's the majority of Facebook. I think the majority of old people Facebook is ranting about young people and how they don't like specific groups of people. Gorilla pen in a weird way. Stuff that annoys them. It was, Facebook is a place for old people to rant. It's old people Twitter, basically. But today I wanted to go back into this forbidden territory like a Russian spy. And sneak in and see what's going on on Facebook. Quick word from video sponsor. Gotta skip it. I'm sorry. Sneak in and see what's going on on Facebook with all these people because I hear some weird stuff's going on. I hear some people have been saying some things. What are they? Let's find out. I've been trying yoga for about a week now, and whenever I try to do the downward dog pose, I always slip a nug. I'm pretty embarrassed that I'm slipping. What does that even mean? I always slip a nug. Nugs at my age. Any tips or tricks for nug slippage? Uh, what is a nug slip? Like shitting yourself? Uh, and of course, someone asks, "What is a nug?" With a confused, like laughing. What's a nug? And then the Smith person said, "A nug is when you poo your pants by accident." Oh my God! Take oh. a shit before you do yoga, then. Wow. Sue says, I use my waffle maker for many things, like grilled cheese and French toast. Sue, why are you yelling? That's what all capital letters mean for your information. It's rude. And Sue says, because I have a difficult time seeing. Yeah. What would be rude, Juanita, is calling you a bitch? Holy fuck. <laughs> Yo. 
so you don't play around, dude. I think if your eyes are just fucked up, you don't deserve to be online. If you can't see what we see, shame on you. Harry's calling me. Hello? Yo, you ever look at, like, I don't even know how they do this, but you ever look at, like, your grandparents' phones and their text size is so large? Like, I don't know how they even did that, right? Like, I don't know how I would do that, but, like, you look, they're like, oh, hey, something's wrong with my phone. Can you look at it? And it's like, there's, like, four words per screen. Like, a paragraph, you would have to scroll for, like, minutes, because, like, a sentence takes up an entire screen. There's a setting to enlarge it. Yeah, it's, like, in size 50 font. 703. It's, like, PowerPoint letters. You missed my dono? Uh, what was your other dono? Because I don't think I see it. I don't see any other dono that you sent, man. I don't know where you would have sent it. Well, this is kind of funny, but we can't go to Kudoba. Um, it's on a military base. The Kudoba's on a military base? Yeah, I just, it tur told me to turn somewhere, and then I was like, oh shit, there's like a toll booth here. There's a guy standing outside in like tactical gear, and then people were handing him something, and I was like, what do I need to hand you? And he was like, oh, you have to have a pass to go on here. Did you try to install in Valor and getting in there to get Qdoba? Oh, he said it's not that hard to get a pass, but I have to like, go to this place and do a background check, and I'm assuming it won't oh, be like. Oh God, for Qdoba, yeah. fuck that, fuck that. Yeah, that's why I was. Let's just let's just have Qdobas on military bases. Yeah, let's just yeah. test it. Let's risk it all and try uh, Chipotle. Oh, no. I'll, I'll have diarrhea again, but I I hope not. <laughs> well, at least you have to fly for a couple more days, you know. So yeah, that's good. Dude, what is this intermission? What is this intermission mid video? To, uh, whenever I lose eight pounds, I'll be sure and post this to my Instagram. So you guys I've lost eight pounds since July. Sparkling letter or sparkling imagery. Let's see, I have lost eight pounds since July. Also, it's October. I don't really know if that's that big of a feat, dude. Eight pounds. I had to go. To, I had to go to hell and back, but I was able to do it. I did have some cheat days though. <laughs> Wait, what? <laughs> Yo, this. 60 year old co worker has been texting me every day for over a year. 9 11 a.m. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. <laughs> poor, poor bastard. This is actual mental torture. I wonder what. I bet, I bet no Joel's conversation like. Conversation after that? Why does he never text anything back? Mom memes. Latching on to mom, mommy's titty without biting. Drinking the weird, funny liquid under the sink. Today's iPad addictive babies. Wait, did they, did they format this like a fucking mom? Drinking the weird, funny liquid under the sink. What is the weird, funny liquid under a sink? Okay. Well, today's iPad addictive babies, and then you read left. Drinking the weird. Like, like bleach or Windex or something? Funny liquid under the sink, latching onto mommy's titty without biting. This is like some sort of cleaner? Jason. <laughs> Dude, Facebook's emojis are so funny. Like the, the, the little like smiley face man, like coddling the heart like this. Aww. Someone put a tear. You know some older one too, it's just like, that's sad. Dude, I wanna latch onto mommy's titty. I wanna see the woman's titty who did this. Latching onto mommy's titty without biting. Whatever, dude. You look so glamorous, like this. I have COVID. You look so glamorous. I have COVID. <laughs> I have, I have definitely received many texts like this from my own grandmother. Hope you have a great day. I hurt my knee. I really wish that we could have seen the picture that the old woman thought somebody looked glamorous too, because I bet it's like a big fucking gross son of a bitch. Yeah, but that's my that's my little granddaughter Becky. Oh! You look glamorous. Can you please Dude, do I could get a text from my grandma, and if I don't respond within five minutes, she thinks I died. Like, if I don't respond, I don't know if that's also something that people go through, but, like, if I don't immediately answer, something's wrong, right? It's not like, oh, I'm busy or, like, something like that. It's like, why am I not answering, right? Not like a genuine why, like, oh, something's wrong. He's not answering. Let me call him. 
Potsy for the sub. Spartan for the sub. Come over here and come. Oh, let me text him again. Did you get that? Question mark. Did the message go through? Where are you? My chest and try to fill my lungs with air. Megan Fox. It's gotten to the point where sometimes I'll be like, I'll like lie. And I'll be like, I'm in Connecticut. <laughs> oh, I'm not here. No, I'm not. No, I'm in, uh, I'm, I'm actually in Anguilla right now. Meg and Fox naked. <laughs> oh, really? And I'll be like, yeah. <laughs> Send a stock image. Send a stock image of scenery with like, with like the fuck, you know how like sometimes you have a picture on Google and it'll have like the text of like the company that made the image, like just standing with it. Something like that. Hold up. Nice scenery. Let me find one. Fuck. Hold up. God, they don't have it. Wait, is this it? Yeah, here's one. Oh, no, it's not. Yeah, something like this. Right? Oh, just chilling at the beach. Sorry, I'm kind of busy. <laughs> you just have you just have a bunch of like like clearly something that's just ripped. Like a watermark just ripped off fucking Google. And you're just like, yeah, no, I'm busy, sorry. This isn't Google dad. What a man. Yeah, I kinda like the idea that a man just puts it out there. Meg and Fox naked. Someone show me. Also like the just the space. Meg and Fox naked. Somebody doing the question wrong pretty good. Yeah, this isn't Google Dad crying laughing emoji. We need to get the fucking crying laughing emoji out of here. Are you really just like yeah! Oh my god, he posted Megan Fox naked when he meant to search it. That's brutal. That's brutal. You search up Megan Fox naked, but it's it ends up being a Facebook post. Yes! Megan Fox naked. And How he does it like seven times. How to dispose of a body? To dispose of a body quickly. Head? Why do my hands smell like pennies? <laughs> <laughs> Why do my hands smell like pennies? Happy birthday to my wonderful husband. Hope he's enjoying the day. Even though we did not do anything to really celebrate anymore, we did get a new puppy a few weeks ago. His name is Oreo and he's black and white. He will not shed dog hair all over. He will stay small. <laughs> it's weird. It sounded very normal at the beginning and then it got more and more. Where I'm like, where is this person from? He will not shed dog hair all over. He will stay small. It's an atrocity that 18 people like this. Uh, but there's 19 comments. There was definitely some questionable things asked. Merry Christmas, Martin. Merry Xmas and happy 76th birthday, Martin. You have COVID and respiratory tract infection. Merry Christmas. Ho, ho, ho. <laughs> Bro, is that a real Facebook post, though? Like, I, dude, I want to know. I want to know what, like, a For You page is like on Facebook. <laughs> I like the, I do like this crying emoji though. Oh shit, really? See now a lot of people- Like off-brand TikToks. I'm always so fascinated by that and who uses them. Like name an off-brand TikTok. Like, um, ah, oh, fuck. What is it called? Like, uh, Bego Live or, um, Bite Dance or some shit like that. No, not like YouTube Shorts Chat, like an off-brand app. It's called like. I've never even heard of that. Like who uses those? Triller. Dude, people that use Triller are like behind the ball, man. Like it's just, if you use Triller, you're just trying to be different at the end of the day, right? Like I know a guy that uses Triller and he'll make like Trillers or whatever it's called. And I'm like, when he pulls it out, I'm like, what the fuck? Like, just, just use TikTok. Like, why? They have the same shit and more, right? Why are you using Triller? And then it has that massive watermark, Dub Smash. Uh, the legal and pure panda for the sub. Is Dub, is Dub Smash even still in business? People would say this reads passive aggressive, but to this person, she's just kind of getting it all out in one swing. That's one thing about boomers that I've noticed is that they don't like to do the back and forth. It's all just, it's up front. Where daughter? Where daughter? Looking for my daughter. Search for Laura on Facebook. Are you there, Laura? <laughs>
<laughs> person's like looking into a cave. Are you there, Laura? <laughs> That one's kind of sad too, honestly. Good morning, neighbors. I was just wondering if anyone knows of any three bedroom houses to rent in the surrounding areas of blank. Please thank you in advance. Houses. <laughs> houses. Why is there a poll? And so many people voted on it. 16 people voted. I like how, I like how they put up the poll too. <laughs> It's a pretty good it's a pretty good split though to be fair 62 38 that's not the hugest margin but yeah no i mean houses is pulling ahead even though you think houses would that's kind of good <laughs> houses, houses. my vehicle my vehicle had been damaged by young criminal men <laughs> That's another thing too, is I want to know who's the first person who did a fucking, what are these called? Memojis, whatever. Oh, bitmojis. Or bitmojis. It's not a bitmoji. I thought that, I, is that a bitmoji? Whoever came with bitmojis needs to be fucking thrown out of a window. My vehicle has been damaged by young criminal men. <laughs> Shouting to the rooftops. God, these Facebook emotes are terrible. Look at the, the Mr. Beast face one. No way. Punch. No, Facebook Marketplace is the best place to look at. When you see somebody take a picture of something and they don't want to be in the in the photo, people selling mirrors on Facebook. Oh, wait. People selling mirrors on Facebook, on Facebook Marketplace is the best thing ever. Because they don't know, and it's the same issue... It's the same issue when they're like selling a TV or just anything that has a reflection. And sometimes they don't know that they're in the reflection. Like mirrors, they obviously do. But look at this. <laughs> Somebody made a compilation. Stop. Because they don't want to be in the image. But like, how do you take a picture? How do you take a picture of a... Of why, what is this fucking, what is this like 2014 fucking YouTube intro music that's playing behind this? Wow. Yeah, let's go next on that one. <laughs> Jesus. We're gonna make Rippers out. I think that's the best thing to do. Actually, an off angle. So the reflection's not... Like, don't do a straight-on shot. And then you're also, like, dissuaded from buying the mirror because, like... Like, if I want to buy this mirror, but this is the picture the guy took, like, am I really going to meet up with this guy to buy the fucking mirror from him? Sitting on his grass carpet. Post it up, just trying to fucking sell this shit. Jesus. That's funny. You can tell, you can tell he asked him to do it and he's smiling behind it. Was that a carpet? I don't know. I'm selling a mirror. Ten dollars. God, yo, that doesn't even have a frame. He's just selling glass. He's just selling fucking, uh, literally just a mirror. And who do you think buys this shit? Or like clothes? Like if I was going to buy clothes... Why didn't they use their hand? Like, why didn't they just use their fucking hand? Like, what is the point? It, it would be the same amount of you in the photo. I'm no Who is buying this? Like, what the fuck? The shit people sell on Facebook Marketplace has to be insane. Bro, I want to I Google a compilation of the craziest things. Weirdest stuff sold on Facebook Marketplace. 
Facebook Marketplace Hi, is the absolute jungle. Are you still selling jungle. that Mercedes car? Yeah. Can you send a photo? Hi, are you still selling that Mercedes car? Yeah. Can you send a photo? No, I mean of the car. <laughs> I have a King Sleep number mattress. Bees free. Toaster never taken out of the box. Makeup three. Toaster never taken out of the box. It's in, it's out of the box. Oh my god. The box. Makeup three pounds fifty. Three hundred fifty pounds. There you go. Ellen. Black Entertainment Center. Mum and items on the stand not included. Black and grey flat screen TV. That is a microwave. No. Oh, good afternoon. Is this still available? Yes. I oh, didn't ask. What? Is this still available? Big thumbs up. Still available. Another big thumbs up. Would you like to buy it? Yeah, but is it a dryer? I don't understand. It's a filing cabinet. Is it a dryer? How about ring? No hole. Lawnmower? Ten pounds. My prescription glasses have been missing since Friday, January 29, 2021. Three! I'm afraid this listing goes against our rules on overtly sexual An product. overtly sexual product? I've got nothing for sale. Google Nest Mini Gen 2. You fucking stole this from me and my niece's- Most shit's like technology, I would assume. Like, I, I, I wouldn't be surprised if people are selling, like, PS5s, controllers, games, and shit on Facebook Marketplace. But, like, what is the majority of stuff? Probably clothes. Clothes and furniture. Christening your tramp. Samsung 55-inch smart curved LED TV. What's uh, Oh, Why does he have so many of these fucking things in the back? Oh, my God. Is this still available? Yeah. No. Hi, Deborah. Do you have more photos of the bar? Yes. Is it possible to see them? See what? Thought I'd ask here if anyone's interested in buying a big 3D printer. Define touchy. I never said touchy. <laughs> <love>. <laughs> Yo, why is that funny? Thought I'd ask if anybody is interested in buying a big 3D printer. Define touchy. Oh, sorry, my misread. I, I still do not understand what you mean by a bit touch. Still never said anything about it being touch. Uh, it's a 3D printer. You want it or not? Bloody hell. Custom dog drawing. Occasion cakes. Handmade clay. Occasion cakes. Holy fuck, dude. What is that? Handmade clay Elvis figure. Not perfect. Knitted Minecraft creepers. That is a penis. Hopefully you remember the Rose SMP Minecraft server, by the way. Links in the description. Full bedrock and Java support in the mm. servers reset recently. It remains the best place to act out my favourite RL hobbies of falling over and exploding. Four thousand thanks. I'm not going to take four thousand. You gave thumbs up. I thought you would. You sent the thumbs up. One thousand piece jigsaw puzzle completed 14, 11, 20 as new condition. Can you unpleat it? What does that mean? I don't want a complete puzzle. Pointless. I like the challenge of making it. Obviously I can take it apart to put in box. I'm just showing no pieces missing. Just saying you, you won't sell a complete puzzle. People like making them from start. The opposite Yo, of- Yo, that- I, w I should get into that business. Of selling puzzles with one piece missing. Oh. An incomplete puzzle. And that would ruin people's days. Like, imagine you spend six hours on a thousand piece puzzle. And there's just one missing. Like, the most important piece. Of, like, a face. Complete, of course. Can you unplease? You're sitting there, like, looking for it. Right? You're sitting there like, oh my god, where's this puzzle piece? And then you message me on Facebook Marketplace, and you're like, hey, like, was there a piece missing? And I just block you. <laughs> and I just block you. And I never give you that piece back, and I just do it again. Sit. Punch. Chandler. Hemorrhoid ointment. Incest stick. If you poo love the smell of incest, like I do, this is Perfect. I'm selling my snack. Chanel toaster and kettle can be made with other brands and come with a genuine certificate. Please, no time wasseters. Logo coolers, gold, rose gold, book, and sliver. I'm interested in buying this for $1,000. Hi, how much, please? $1,000. What? Three mattresses, games console, child's recorder, and music book. Jeans. 
See, they're just fucking with their grandma, uh, bro. And music book. Jeans. This is a beautiful looking table lamp. It comes with a shade. With it is two-tone stone looking and very modern look. Will look nice in a front room or bedroom. Private room for rent. So good afternoon. Is this available? I've had that surgery twice on each hand. I'm sorry to hear that. Beanie Babies! One bed, one bath flat. Men's leather jacket in size XL. Outboard motors boats. Three of. 1997 GMC Safari SL minivan. Like, why is this photo in Arts part of the fucking imagery? 1965 Buick Wildcat. Fridge. I have a Packers Cup and a jacket for sale. Plus two CB bass radio for scape and a red bear for sa. Yeah? Oh! Antique mahogany beveled mirror. One large mirror. Mirror! Got a mirror for sale. Selling a mirror. Mirror! Do you want to buy a mirror? Console table and mirror. Why is she in it? She's not even taking the photo. Now this is how you list a mirror. Mirror. £100. Leads. Bum! That was a good video. Swimming for the sub retro for the sub guam for the three. Happy birthday to my grandpa. Even though you got gonorrhea and syphilis this year, it was a good one. Happy birthday, Gramp. Sorry to hear you got syphilis and gonorrhea, man. Horror high and pure for the sub. Illegal posse for the sub. All right. Oh, we didn't even finish the Facebook boomer. Ah, it's actually basically over. All right. Next one. Chat, which one first? Stung by a panda ant or flat earth or sea space for the first time? We'll watch both. Getting a lot of panda ants here. Getting a lot of flat earthers, too. We'll start with the panda ant. Actually, is there a different one we want to watch? No, I kind of want to watch the panda ant. Getting st Yeah, this is, this, this is the most recent one. No one has ever documented. All right, now we got to watch the fucking yellow jackets. We got to watch the yellow jacket video. Might as well. Might as well. Surprises! Oh yeah, they're still really, really angry. Option? Five. Two. Stay here very long. Oh! Okay, my hand's gotta come up. Hands gotta come up. You guys are gonna have to run because these things are gonna oh, be wait, swarming wait, here, let's Put the door back in. Okay, the here, door, I'll the help, door, the door. Help, help, you help. Got it? Here. Okay, this is this was a bad idea. Bad idea, bad idea. Put the door in. Oh, right there. Right there, right there. There, 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 no, it's not in the slot. Right there, right there. Right there, right oh, there. Oh, he's getting so mad about it. He starts cursing him out. Oh, you're fucking useless, man. Okay, put, put it in, put it in, put it in. Oh, oh, man. Oh, man. Stay still. I'm trying, dude. This is <laughs> such a bad idea. I don't know what I was thinking. Bro, look how swollen his hand this is. This is a terrible idea. Oh, we should have stopped at the bee suit. This is absolute agony. This is insane. Like, we are approaching giant hornet paint wrong it's like white jackets are out to get how painful this oh. Is oh oh my god dude look at his fucking hands explain to you in words how painful the swelling and the throbbing in my arm is right now but it is intense so whatever god, you dude, do he's like got like andre uh andre the giant's hands right there painful ever had the and now the itching the case Still swollen a day later. Guamondor for the three. Can you show us your gaming setup? Peach for the sub, step for the sub. No. Uh, it's not special. Uh, I actually think I might have a picture on my e Instagram highlights, but, dude, it's literally two monitors, a PC, and a camera. Uh, what you see is basically my setup. Uh, all right, next video. Flat Earther sees uh, space for the first time. Uh, then we have the biggest legal scams, how dollar stores quietly consumed America and Ohio, too. From the Earth with his own eyes. See oh. This flat earther is about to see the curvature of the Earth with his own eyes. See, most of us think the planet looks like this. But the thing is, 10% of the world thinks the planet looks like this. It there is no way 10% of the world is flat earthers. That would mean that would mean that 425 people here think the earth is flat. 10% is just not true. I got to google that. How many how many people think the earth is flat? 
Wow. A U.S. survey says around 10% of U.S. Course, uh, respondents agree that the conspiracy theory that the Earth is flat. Bro, they had to be fucking joking. Or, like, maybe open to the idea of that. No way they think the Earth is fucking flat. Chat, if any of you think the Earth is flat, I'm genuinely sorry, man. But, like, you're actually just fucking wrong. It's not a governmental conspiracy theory. People proved the Earth was round, like, fucking 4,000 years ago. Fabe for the sub, with, like, a ruler. And this is one of them. We're gonna be seeing if he's right. Step one, launch a balloon into space. My name is Sebit, and I believe the Earth is flat. Three, two... He's gonna say some bullshit, right? My name is Sebit, I think the Earth is flat. All right, look at the view from the, the camera up in space. Oh, oh, the camera must be curved. Oh, the view, oh, the view must be, oh, this headset must be faulty. Oh, blank and blank. Do a poll? My chat's just gonna lie and say they think the earth is flat. Mr. Mass for the sub. What? In all honesty, how many people do you think here think the earth is flat? There's 4,256 people in this stream. I would say about 10 of you think the earth is flat genuinely. I would give a generous 10. 10. Step two, live stream what the camera sees into his vision using a VR headset. Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. I'm seeing clouds. <laughs> That's awesome. Step three, wait for the balloon to reach space and see what he says. How did you first come about, like, flat earth? I've been high up. I've been on the airplane. You should be able to see the plane dip uh, just to maintain. travel across a globe oh my god bro i i i'm honestly convinced that flat earthers when they say this point about a plane and it needs to dip i honestly think they just don't understand gravity i think gravity is a concept that just goes right over their head uh they don't understand the fact that we're constantly being pulled towards the center of the earth uh, so you don't need to nosedive every fucking 30 minutes when you're in a plane, dude. Like, is that really that hard for somebody to fucking understand? Right now, the reason you have, right now, the reason you're sitting or standing or whatever the fuck you're doing is because the mass, the sheer mass of the earth is pulling you towards the center, right? Always. Earth, and yet I haven't felt no such thing. He actually makes some pretty good points. No, he doesn't. That was such a shitty point. Before we could address them, the balloon started blowing away from us. And we have to stay directly under it to stay connected to the live stream, so we got in the car to start following it. At the edge of the Earth is definitely an ice wall at Antarctica. I'm very skeptical. Oh, the ice wall theory. Oh, the ice wall theory. The classic ice wall. Oh my god. And that no one can go and nobody can pass the ice wall and the ice walls in Antarctica. And, and that uh, you're never capable of fucking surpassing the ice wall. Here's the problem with a fucking flat earth, buddy. Let me just disprove your fucking point right here, right? If I'm flat in the, let me, let me pull up the flat earth, flat earth model, right? All right. Let's use this one, for example. Uh, this is a good one. This has the ice wall. This is what, like, a genuine flat Earth model might look like, right? Uh, here's all the continents kind of spread out in the way that they see fit. Uh, and then fucking the North Pole would be in the middle and the ice walls on the outside. Here's the issue, right? Is when you're, this doesn't correspond to flight paths. You're able to see flight paths, right? And you're able to see where the plane's taking off, where it's flying, and all that shit, right? If the Earth looked like this... How planes would go would be drastically different, right? When you're sitting in New York City and you're flying to Japan, you can go, like, around the Earth, right? Like, there's some times where, like, in this model, it wouldn't make sense for somebody to fly this way because you would have to go all the way around. But in reality, since the Earth is round, it's easier for you to hit that dest. Am I making sense right now? It's easier for you to hit that destination, right? Like, if this is a ball, right? and I'm here, and I need to get here, I'm going to fly this way, right? I'm not going to fly all the way around the Earth. But there's moments where it would make sense for me to go the other way. But with a flat Earth model, that would never make sense. That would never happen, right? You would only 
fly straight to the direction that you need to go, right? I love for the sub because it would always be an exact pinpoint. Behind the reasons that people aren't allowed to just go and visit Antarctica it doesn't really make a lot of sense to me. We just planes aren't allowed to go over the ice wall. No, I know what you're saying. Planes aren't allowed to go over the ice wall. I'm saying there is no ice wall. I'm saying saying there's an ice wall just eliminates any logical sense that you may have about how plane flights and pads work, right? Why would I take off from New York City uh, and fly a certain direction around the Earth to get to a different destination when that's not how this model would actually work, right? doesn't really make a lot of sense to me. We just landed in Antarctica and we're gonna survive the next 50 hours here. What about Mr. Beast? The balloon was getting higher and we were still driving. But I had some more questions to ask. And you can just see, you know, another thing, you can just see the curvature of the earth in a fucking airplane. I feel like that's just, that's just the biggest thing, right? Like when you're really high up in an airplane, you can see the curvature of the earth. It's minute. What about the idea of like falling off the edge of the earth? On a flat earth, as you go towards the edge, you wouldn't necessarily just like fall off. You'd be able to kind of just like turn the corner and be able to walk down the edge. Unfortunately, it doesn't seem like anybody's going to be able to get that opportunity. Um, I don't think that they're letting anybody off or get anywhere close to Antarctica. You got some people walking out of Antarctica. How is he, how is he disproving gravity, right? Because believing in a flat Earth is, like, one of the hardest theories. To, like, believing that the moon landing was fake is not a hard theory to believe in, right? There's actual reasonings as to why that might make sense. Disproving the round Earth also disproves gravity. Which you can't disprove. You know, that is so far outside of the realm of physics that I can't even... Put it in my head. We'll hear more from the professor later. I don't know about you guys, but so far it's looking pretty flat. <laughs> the land around us certainly looked flat, but that- I don't know about you guys, but when I stand outside on a nice cornfield, I don't fucking see the curvature of the earth. So that might mean- that must mean that the earth is fucking flat, dude. Made sense. Our camera, though, is- You know, I never scored the best on the tests- uh, on my- on my tests in high school, but I'll tell you. When I stand outside and I don't see the fucking curvature of the earth, I, that's enough evidence for me. I've, I've been in a hotel 10 stories up. No curvature. When I look out into the ocean, it looks pretty fucking flat to me. About the height that airplanes fly at, so it hadn't sensed much curvature yet. I think you liberals drink too much of the fucking city water. I think you drink, I think you drink the Joe Biden juice, and that's why you think the earth is fucking round. Because you guys are a bunch of fucking liberals, right? Drinking that fucking, that, that, that fucking city water, that mind control Joe Biden juice. So the camera's getting a little bit more level, but I feel like it's still a little flat. Like I don't see that much of a curve. Do you but... see a slight curve though? No, I, that I, much I of a curve. agree with them. I, I kind of. Like, well, see, no, that's when flat earthers will, will revert to the disc theory. Right. That's another theory where the Earth is technically flat, but it's in the shape of, like, a Frisbee. And so they're allowed to say, oh, there could be a little bit of curvature. Honestly, it doesn't even feel like a slight. Higher. And it's like, it could be possible that the domed Earth is a little bit higher than 100,000 feet, and so probably don't hit it today. Or, for all that I know, the domed, the domed Earth, there's a roof. He's saying that there's a roof that we can't get past. Has he ever heard of a satellite? Has he seen the Starlink satellites that circle Earth? Could be what's popping the balloon. Um, Yo, uh, that's and then how do they explain, like, the moon? And, like, the rotation of the moon? Why are you pausing so much, little bro? Uh, well, this time I'm pausing so I can time you out for a day. Go watch the video on your own. If you're talking about that. Brandon for the three. Uh, is for the sub. TJ for the three. I saw so many TikTok conspiracy theorists, and it's scary to think they actually believe the stuff they say. When you prove them wrong, they'll just say, uh, they, they all just say, wait and see, but it never happens. Kirby and I love for the sub. Yeah. Christian and Mr. Mass for the sub. Uh, anyways. What was I saying? Like, they can't prove, like, like, you know how the moon's not in the sky at night sometimes, right? And it's in the sky during the day. Like, you can't prove that with a flat Earth. Like, like where's the moon, right? Like, what, like where is the moon? Ro the moon's round. 
right? That doesn't make sense, right? The moon's round, and the sun's round, and all the other planets are round. But the Earth is flat. Because we live in a dome, right? Following the logic of the moon's round, right? We believe the moon's round as a flat earther. You believe the sun's round. So why would the earth not be round? Eatable for the sub. I just proved a flat earth theory by demonstrating if you hold a flashlight above a piece of paper, the entire paper gets illuminated. Just like the whole earth were if it were flat. However, the earth isn't always uh, fully lit, so it isn't flat. You could also, you could also dis. I hope that made sense. No, you could disprove it with a hole too. Like when you're, or not a hole, but like the way the earth sh shines, shadows would look different. That's how some of the first people discovered that the earth was round and how uh, they discovered the actual distance uh, the earth's circumference was, was by using shadows. Interesting, so, actually. The ice wall thing and so on, well, there are multiple national claims, including Argentina and Chile, slices of the South Pole. There is also a South Pole Treaty, and the U.S. station sits directly at the geographic South Pole. By the way, I mean, if you believe in a flat Earth, don't use your cell phone, because your cell phone depends on those global positioning systems. GPS is global positioning, that is true. And they are orbiting around the globe. Yeah, it's got to go a tiny bit higher. I feel like... I don't know. From this height or whatever, I don't wonder what kind of a Kirby would see. If there's a total lunar eclipse. Bro, and like every time they're like, it's not that much of a curve. Like, yeah, no shit, dumbass. The Earth is big. The shadow of the Earth upon the moon. Is yeah, that's round... another thing. Oh, I forgot. I said that in a TikTok one time. If, if, if the Earth were a disc, there would be moments where the shadow would be like a line. Arc. So, you know... The Earth is round, it's not a disk. Sebit doesn't agree though. What about the sun and the moon? Who knows? We haven't been to either. It could be that oh. they're circling Earth. He still thinks, I okay, I could agree that maybe there's a chance that we didn't go to the moon the first time because you wanted to beat the Russians. I would still say I believe in the first moon landing, but thinking that we've never been to the moon, even in 2023 is insane. Um, on its plane. How does the sun set like below the horizon? Right. And by this, see, like this model, the moon would always be in the sky at night, and it's not. Uh, some people say it could be all about perspective. Um, as the sun gets further and further away from where you are, there's a vanishing point, and at that vanishing point is where we no longer see the sun. Um, months and years, calendars. And then, like, weather, too. Like, the Earth's tilt, and why it's fucking hot in the winter here, but... In Australia, it's it's warmer, right? Like, our winter is Australia's summer. The flat earth fucking, cal or, or fucking model doesn't explain that. System are a beautiful example of demonstration that the earth is round. And images of earth, it's not just NASA. Recently, the Chandrayaan mission, took beautiful images of the earth. You can see it as a billiard ball hanging in the blackness of space. So I'm still a little bit skeptical, uh, but there are some other cameras up there that got some footage for us. So I'm looking forward to checking those out to see what kind of uh, footage we got. But the balloon just burst, so we have to go get it. Yeah, that's right. So while we were listening to the scientists, the live stream cut out and the balloon apparently popped a little bit later. So now it's falling towards the ground and we have to go get it. So we can see the footage after the stream cut out at the very top. But also, yep. how do we know we're not just like- How do we know the footage isn't edited? Like baiting and switching. Like, how do we know that it's the same weather balloon that we're gonna be going to? Seba was starting to get a bit suspicious. You're only gonna buy this if you actually see the camera. Bro, he said exactly what I said he was going to say. How do we know it's not fake? How do we know you guys didn't just swap that out? Yo, this is, this is what that's called. Paranoia, right? When you're so skeptical of every single thing, that's not being a questionable fucking pondering individual. You're fucking paranoid. You think everyone is a part of this lie. 
camera come out of the air. So you know it's the same camera, right? Yeah. 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 Now the problem is, it takes about an hour to get down to the ground, and the camera was 20 miles in the so air. That's 20 miles per hour falling down. So it is not going to be easy to actually be there when it lands, let alone actually try and catch it out of the air. We're gonna try. Well, there it is. Also, this video wasn't cheap, so while we're looking for the balloon, let me tell you about AirUp, the sponsor of this video. I don't like the video. I have seen, I have seen videos about AirUp. It does seem like a, de a decent idea. The idea that it's like flavored water through scents. This doesn't add any extra calories or anything. It's purely just the scent that's making you think that you're drinking flavored water, but in actuality, it's really just water. We haven't even opened cherry yet. Oh, this one's gonna be the best one. Yeah, it's kind of good. What do you think? Yeah. Wilkins. Has he always been in this video and I just noticed now? That guy's from TikTok. Oh, there we go. Oh, yeah, it all, like, turns into cherry. It all back yeah, it's summer. wild, right? Use my code JACK15 for 15% off the entire store. Link in description. <laughs> you guys see it? Yeah. Still see it? So we have to kind of run over there, right? So that's what we did. But the journey was a lot longer than we expected. Petrified wood apparently is from the dinosaurs' age. This used to be wood. We're literally finding fossils out here, but we have to find the balloon. Yo, be careful, there's like cactus and anything. Do you think more flat earthers also do you think a flat earther also doesn't believe in evolution? I feel like a higher percentage of flat earthers don't believe in evolution comparable to the regular population. I think if you meet a flat earther, the odds they'll say that evolution isn't real is like a fucking one in two. Like, I think they'll be like, yeah, no, the dinosaurs didn't exist. I believe in evolution. Yeah, I think most people do. Uh, seeing that it's pretty concrete. Yeah, it looks like it just, like, drops off. It's not real, honestly. like, yeah. imagine what the wall looks like. Well, it's just the theory of evolution. Why would it be called a theory if it's not a law? The law of gravity. The theory of evolution. Uh, dude, theory, you can't just say my theory, right? Like, when I say what's up, my theory, what you actually mean is my hypothesis. A theory is borderline proven. If you're able to call something a theory, theory of evolution, it's like almost, it's almost 100%, right? The Big Bang Theory, it's backed by a lot of evidence, it's just not definitively proven, right? Like, Man, uh, you're having me convinced like right now. There's also the theory on gravity, yeah, but I mean, like, you see how it works. Let's find this footage, though, for yeah. real. I mean, honestly, like, there are laws of physics, but those are things that you can't disprove, right? Uh, you can't definitively prove the Big Bang happened because you can't witness that, right? But you could theorize and be 99% sure. It's kind of convincing that the Earth is flat. Like, look around here. I mean, you, you, there's nothing. Crossing another barbed wire. It's not definitive since the fossil record isn't complete. Yeah, it's not definitive that where we evolved through, but you can see proof of evolution through our own body like the lack of a tailbone or the lack of a tail but we have a tailbone uh or how our feet are starting to change because we don't need them for gripping trees anymore and shit like that or even carbon dating right uh kind of disproves the whole idea that the earth was created like two thousand years ago this is insane. Five thousand years ago, or whatever they say. I mean, I think I just gotta go, right? Yeah. Bike to the balloon was definitely treacherous. I think that's a word. Treacherous. Looking back at the maps, you we're all humans evolved from apes. Yeah, no, we're literally just we're animals, right? I, people always separate humans from animals. We're animals, right? We're the same. I'm always fascinated by the fact that if you go back a million years, your ancestor isn't a human. Like, something that is the reason you're you was, like, a, 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 just a weasel or, like, some sort of mammal, right? You could say false, but, like, I mean, at the end of the day, like, if you go back far and far enough, like, at, at some point, we were just bacteria, right? Like, some sort of, like, s small multi-organism, multi-celled organism, right? What's even weirder, and I'm learning about this in my herbal psychopharmacology class, and I don't give a fuck if people start saying I'm yapping and they don't care. But the separation, what you're going to learn when you're in college or just in life in general is like people always separate the human mind from the brain when in reality your consciousness is entirely inhabited by your brain, right? Your brain, your, your thinking self is just your brain, right? That's all you are is a brain, right? 
You're a self-aware organ. That's you, is a self-aware organ. You know you exist, but you're just a brain, right, at the end of the day. Now, a lot of people are still going to say a soul's intertwined and stuff. I don't, I, I'm going to disagree with that right now, but, I mean, I may agree with that later on in my philosophical endeavors in college and shit, but as of right now, I honestly believe that all of you is physical. All of you is your brain, right? Anything that is you is your brain. Um, nothing outside of that, right? A lot of people try to separate the consciousness and the brain, but in reality, your consciousness is your brain. Uh, unless you have dementia, well, that, that also proves the fact that your consciousness is your brain, right? Because uh, it, once your brain starts deteriorating, you start deteriorating, right? As a Christian, I don't believe that. That's fine, right? I mean, I'm going to say there's a lot of scientific evidence that is going to back exactly what I'm saying, right? Like, I'm taking a class on herbal psychopharmacology, but you can disagree. That's fine. It's your own opinion. It's your life. I'm just saying I'm sharing my opinion as this is my platform. I'm allowed to share what I want to, what I think. You're fine. It's fine if you disagree with that. I don't care, right? Uh, I'm not going to judge you for that. Um, but I will say that I honestly believe that your consciousness is your brain. Uh, and that's about it. I think you still are conscious. It doesn't remove any sort of specialty of your brain. Uh, but at the end of the day, that's it, right? That could be for the sub, Jack, for the three. My science teacher doesn't believe in evolution. That's nuts. TB for the sub. Gaumander for the three. Some people who believe Australia doesn't exist. It's for the sub. Noah for the three. Sabi for the sub. Baki for the three. Uh, already read that. Another philosophy stream. When's the next philosophy stream? When do y'all want to do a philosophy stream? I would be down to do like a half and half one, a half react, half philosophy. Right now, I don't want to do one right now. You can see how long we walked. It was miles, and this was taking this hours. Tomorrow? Place. Tomorrow is uh, Unbans, uh, and then Subnautica. Uh, I'm not going to move that. Uh, when could we do one? God, I don't know. Next weekend? Uh, next Sunday? Uh, it's weird. The schedule this week's weird, so I don't want to move stuff. Tomorrow's Unbans and Subnautica at 4.30. Tuesday, I'm not live. Wednesday is scary games like Parasocial and Garden of Bonbon 3. Thursday, I have to do Reacts because Friday is um the Twitch Rivals event. And then Saturday, Prison Sim, Sunday, Reacts. Maybe this Thursday. How about this? We'll end with philosophy this Thursday. Is that fine? Squared for the sub. This Thursday, we'll do like the last hour. We'll do like full hour, hour and a half. We'll do philosophy. Cows are just staring. Remind me. Because I actually have some fire ass videos. Hold up. Uh, like not even ones that are like boring. Like I actually like some genuinely good ones that are like engaging that you guys sent. You're a dream of the universe, the philosophy of the cube, uh, which is a, about a movie. Uh, Ferb, Fletcher, and the power of stoicism. So it's about Phineas and Ferb. Uh, like, I try to pick things that intertwine with, like, known shit. So then it's kind of more interesting. Uh, 15 weirdest psychological disorders, the Unibomber's ideas. Uh, some stuff like that, right? Uh, squared for the sub. Staring at us. They don't know. Watch the egg. We've already seen that on stream. That we're about to prove. The egg theory is pretty cool. Uh, intertwining like uh, reincarnation with just like, oh, you're the only thing that's ever existed. I am more likely to believe that than most religions right now. If I had to pick a religion right now, it would be Buddhism or some form of Hinduism. The curvature. Oh, that's why. But maybe I didn't mind. Hanging out with Seven was fun. The idea nice of reincarnation is always confusing to me because, like, how many things are original and how many things are reincarnated? And when is something reincarnated and when is something an original soul? You know, that doesn't make sense. The idea of reincarnation based around the idea that every living thing ever is you makes more sense to me than, like, some sort of designated number of things that exist that are like reincarnated and then some come to be like that doesn't make sense all right now we're getting to actual philosophy get locked back into the video here 
got. People are leaving, chat. Oh my god, we're learning. People are leaving. We lost 300 viewers. People are leaving. We're learning about things. Oh my god. Lock in before it gets too boring. And people leave. What's your major philosophy and religion? It's all still intact. All righty. Somebody said Buddhism, LMFAO, and they spelled Buddhism wrong. And his name's Joe Stinky Feet. Buddhism, LMFAO. Yeah, if you're going to make fun of Buddhism, learn how to at least fucking spell it. Dunce. So this is definitely the, the camera we started with, right? We may not have seen it come down, <laughs> but this is certainly. it. And there's no way that anyone would have planted it this far out in a field that took like an hour and a half to get to. We're going to trust this footage, right? For sure, yeah. Okay. I'm looking forward to checking out the footage. Yeah, sure. we'll, we'll, we'll see what it looks like. What's wrong with Buddhism? Nothing. I'm saying, I he's making fun of it. Oh, that's landing. Like, that seems fairly flat, right? Like, I think- Fairly flat? He keeps saying fairly. In part flat. Oh my god, that's because it's kind of curving. I mean, I see a little bit of curvature. A little bit of a curve? It would be cool to see kind of like, if we were to like go pixel to pixel, seeing if there is a straight line. <sighs> Look at that. Look at that. Look at that. <laughs> What do you see? I see a curved person. You see a curve? I see Bro, he just made it a curved line. A slight curve. If I'm being honest, thinking about the like sun and the moon's orbit is kind of the toughest things to think about. Vanishing points and points of view and perspective. It does look like it's pretty high above. And that perspective doesn't look like if it were to just like go in a straight line that it could just like disappear. Really awesome experience and, and super down to go ahead and take that take that into consideration and everything. For sure. Right. Uh, hey, uh, hey. Uh, of course, of course. Uh, of course. Pleasuring business with you. But Sevet wasn't the only flat earther we showed this footage to. We got emails back from tons of flat earthers that watched it and tried to debunk it. Some may think you see curvature, but I can assure you that you don't. They all had different opinions. As for Sebit, though, we went to Chipotle, and then we drove to the All airport. Right, bro. It, was, it was a lot of fun. Thank you. For sure, of course, no problem. At all. all right, see ya. <laughs> wow. And we gave him $1,000 for being in the video. Gave him $1,000? And then we boarded our planes, and the front of the plane didn't have to point down. The force of gravity always points down toward the center of the Earth. And therefore, you're not going to need to go up or down or up to follow the curvature. You're not going to feel anything different. Ah, uh, squared for the sub. All right, next video chat. The biggest legal scams. Then we have how di uh, dollar stores quietly consumed America and Ohio too. I gotta go pee real quick though, chat. Y'all gotta count me down. My brother is thirty. That was so stupid. It's the same sound over and over again. Got one or two I gotta post on TikTok. Two? All right. Squared for the sub, that goofy for the sub. All right. Next video. The biggest legal scams. There are also. 
We are in a period of time where there are more ways to make money than there are alternate universes that Doctor Strange can see. I mean, where do I start? You got the OF thoughts who insist on showing their Arby's roast beef on the internet for $12 a month. You got the people who try to pass their old Halloween costumes off as actual clothing on TikTok. You got the people who work normal 9 to 5. I wouldn't say OnlyFans is a scam. I would say you're, pay you're paying for something and you're getting what you paid for. Like a scam is I paid for something and I didn't receive what I believed I would receive. He's not saying it's a scam. What do you mean? Where do I start? You got the OF thought universes that Doctor Strange can see. I mean, where do I start? We are in a period of time where there are more ways to make money than there, there are, are more ways to make money. He wasn't saying it was a scam. Month. You got the people who try to pass their old Halloween costumes off as actual clothing on I would say that's a scam TikTok You got the people who work normal 9 to 5 jobs Like I said earlier, plenty of ways to make money But one way of aggregating currency that has taken the world by storm is scamming Now according to the 50 states of America, scamming is illegal But take that with a grain of salt because with individuals like Punch May, Dev, and Baby Tron running around Nobody is truly safe But the biggest scams are lying right underneath our noses like a mustache Only except these methods of scamming are completely legal and often leave me feeling deceived and hoodwinked I end up getting Nah, the Doritos? You ever have a snack-sized bag of Doritos recently? There's about seven fucking chips in that motherfucker. When I was a kid, I remember that fucking bag being full. And it's not even like an illusion of, oh, you're getting older. No, the bag stays the same size. They put less chips in the bags. Like, much less. Getting ripped off more than a band-aid. So today- You gotta, you, like, when you buy the fucking party box thing that has a bunch of chips, you get Doritos, bro, half that bag. This could be the bag. Th this is the Dorito. It's just air. We'll be discussing some of the most misleading and duplicitous scams that are somehow still legal. Comment down below the biggest legal scams or anything that feels like a ripoff, and like and subscribe if you're new. First- Claw machines. That's, bro, claw machines are so rigged either because they have the worst bite force with, like, actually holding the item or they're just, they're just slippery, right? Like, they have no grip. We gotta talk about college textbooks. I wonder how Elon Musk would feel if you told him that he could probably- And then they always, yet, they always go up so slow. This is how a claw machine works. Meh. Mer grabs the th grabs the thing. Let's say it grabs it. Mer mer and it hits the top and then it fucking shakes and the item just drops. They like increase the speed that it hits the top so then it fucking rattles and 90% of the time you're going to lose the fucking thing. We afford five, maybe six college textbooks. With and it has the fuck the claw strength is that of a fucking toddler. Like you're trying to grab a plushie and that thing can't pick it up. The money that he has. I'm pretty sure it's common sense that college be taxing niggas more than Phantom, especially if you're at a university. But these textbooks take it to a completely new level, bro. All the professors always swear up and down that the textbooks are required to pass the class. Only except the bookstore decides they want to sell a copy of every textbook except the ones I actually need now, for my- Now, blew my shit, though, is one of my professors this year made me buy his book. That pisses me off. Like, I did it anyway, bro. But, like, you're sitting there, and he's like, oh, the only required text is this book. It is mine. Uh, but it's pretty, uh, you know, they don't write, they don't, they don't really use it that much, right? Uh, like, uh, no one really writes about this stuff, so I think we have to use mine. And then you go and fucking look at how much that bitch costs. It's fucking $65 classes so now i gotta buy them online so i'm thinking i'm about to spend a cool 50 maybe 75 dollars but when i pull up the books i need online g willikers batman these motherfuckers is like 150 a piece my nigga these better turn me into fucking yeah, jimmy neutron books are so expensive like did albert einstein himself write these books bro but if you know me you'll know that i'm stingier than mr Krabs. so i was buying the used versions and shit bro so now all of us students so are the used versions they also let you rent books if you're in college you can rent books for a semester which works, but it's like, damn, dude. Like, I'd rather have the book so I could fucking write in it. Jake for the sub. More money than the average Netflix. Underline shit.
user just for us to use the book once a month. This shit is highway robbery, bro. Plus, most of the books are cheaper on Amazon anyway. And then the professor trying to get hella specific on which edition of the book we need to get. Like, they're literally the same fucking book. And you better pray to God there isn't an access code that you have to use because then you might as well start digging your own grave. But like I've stated plenty of times before, these books end up collecting more dust than a vacuum. College as a whole is a scam in itself. Because why the fuck am I learning business from a motherfucker who don't even own a business? These niggas are setting me up for failure. Not to mention the fact that college will put you in more debt than you Damn. Well, I mean, that's business classes. That is kind of facts, though. Business, business classes is the weirdest shit. Because it's like most of your business professors didn't ever own a business. <laughs> they just got the same degree you're getting, got a doctorate in that degree, and then taught that. Rather than like actually having firsthand experience. With philosophy, biology, all the sciences, it's different, right? Because they probably had a job within that field. But it's like, damn, dude. You got a goddamn, you got a business like, uh, like management fucking professor that's never managed a business <laughs> or, or they have for like a year. Eli for the three. You should play Tom Clancy's Rainbow Six Siege. Just say, just say R6. Uh, and maybe Jake for the sub. Uh, I don't know if my chat would like R-Sex. United States. You'll be paying off student loans longer than it takes EDP to be arrested. Now we gotta talk about bags of chips. Now look, before I got a bunch of Mandarks and other aggravating nerds in the comment section talking about the air protects the chips from breaking and the nitrogen in the air keeps the chips fresh. My nigga, go count some atoms or something, bro. Just run me my fucking chips. The chips go already- count some atoms. Come in more pieces than a fucking puzzle anyway. Do you know how many times I bought a bag of chips foolishly thinking that they were full of fatty goodness? Like y'all know that machine that blows air into your eyes and you go to the ophthalmologist? That's literally what opening a bag of chips is like we might have to start replacing airbags and cars with these motherfuckers bro there's no reason why i should have these chinchilla ass servings of five chips in my bag bro like damn can i get a now side that's of actually what the dorito bag looks like is that doritos five chips in my bro that's a dorito snack bag you open that bitch up they give you what like 12 chips my bag bro like damn can i get a side of chips like, i my could eat like 10 i could eat 10 bags air please something else worth mentioning are those bags of snacks or whatever that have that tear here label but then when i go to open it it just rips in the most lopsided direction ever so then i gotta start using scissors to slice and shred the package like i'm making one of those elementary nah, snowflakes a slim gym i love slim gyms when you open a slim gym there's a one in two chance the tear here doesn't work and then you're stuck just fucking bear mangling the piss out of the fucking slim gym to get that bitch open Another food related scams are organic foods. Unless you're cosplaying poison ivy and got a degree in botany, you're eating the same chemical laced food for the most part. Whatever Dr. Doofus Schmertz ass nigga brainstormed the idea to label food as organic so that we have to pay more money is a genius though. Now this next scam is a little bit different because it doesn't come at the expense of my money, it comes at the expense of my feelings. I think everybody and their mama has only for me to open the bag and see these Mr. Peabody and Sherman ass portions bro. I think there are actually some delectable and luscious cookies sitting inside that motherfucker. And that's what prepubescent- Those look fucking disgusting. <laughs> Like, I, I would, that's a cookie? Dude, that looks like a bread wafer. Cookie sitting inside that motherfucker. And that's what prepubescent Gabe thought as well. I remember thinking that I was sneaker than Swiper the Fox when I found out where my mom had this box, bro. And so I opened that motherfucker and was met with an accretion of sewing supplies. And I'll tell y'all that my heart would shatter like a drinking glass. I'm 99.9% .9 sure this is where my trust issues originated from, bro. And I don't know about y'all, but it always had this dumbass tomato in it. Bro, I swear it felt like sewing supplies would just spawn in there. I never remember anybody actually eating any of those butter cookies or anything. But this shit was generational trauma, bro. It literally got to the point where I would be mystified and perplexed when there would actually be cookies in there. To this day, every Every time I see that heroin box, I automatically assume that there are needles and threads in there. And I know some of y'all have seen random butter or Cool Whip containers in the fridge, and they've got everything but advertised in them. Like, I'll be ready to spread some butter on my toast in the morning. I have only ever seen butter in a country crock fucking thing. What else some would fucking be spaghetti in from last week in there, bro. This pretty much sums up my entire life. Now we gotta talk about claw machines. I don't even know who used to frauding machines are still accessible to the general public, bro. And with all these half-witted... Dude, I'm like, I, uh, is there regulations on claw machines? That's what I'm saying. Is there regulations on claw machines? Because like I feel like there are I've been I've been to arcades where there's genuine claw machines, right? Like you could actually fucking win shit. Uh or like the play till you win ones. I I respect those, right? It removes the challenge, but I respect the fact that they're going to let you win, right? But I feel like there should be some sort of regulation if there's not on like how hard it is to win because there's some i've been to claw machines where you use that shit 400 times you'll never win anything in that fucking prize machine anything because the claw machine is so weak it fucking shakes at the top it doesn't have grips on the fucking claw like you're never gonna get it 
It's on the ground, they acquire more money than a hot tub streamer. After watching Toy Story, I was a stag to actually use the claw machine. So when I got my first opportunity to use one, I was spamming that motherfucker. Every chance I got, I was spending all my savings on that machine. Stuffed animals, candy, toilet paper, it didn't matter. But the one thing that I was toilet always trying paper. to get was that surreptitious ass iPhone, bro. I would literally spend millenniums trying to perfect my craft, but to no avail. Because every time I would have something in my possession, the claw machine decided they want to impersonate Adrian Peterson and drop my shit right- See, dude, it does it every time. Like, that's, that's fucked up. They grabbed that- fucking thing perfectly impersonate adrian and Pe it just drops it Peterson and drop my shit right back into the accumulation of other items but they must take me as a chump if they think i'm just gonna give up after one shot so now i'm spending quarters like i'm at a fucking laundromat trying to achieve this strenuous task the same thing goes with those carnival games i never understood why this place is called the fair because this shit is everything but fair every last one of the games are rigged bro especially those basketball games with the rims that's yeah the basketball hoops are ovals if y'all ain't know that at carnivals they're fucking uh they're shaped like like this like wonky so you have to you have to just sink it if you ever hit a rim shot it'll never go in fox man for the fucking uh two month sub hope you're doing well i uh, just got back from seeing the fam how's that eli for the three start doing the fucking harlem shake when they're hit and even on the few scarce and singular moments that i would win these defrauding Go sit in the corner. games the prizes would be weak as hell bro like they really be having niggas paying tens of dollars just to have a chance slimmer than a new bowl of winning a plastic ass whistle bro now we gotta talk about apple chargers and other apple products oh brother where do i start first of all the fact that iphones don't even come with a charging block is a scam in itself but apple chargers are literally made from fucking tinfoil one long movement and now your charger look like a damn rib bone or something yo i actually okay now this is actually making me upset i lost my charger the other day and now I'm stuck using one of those, like, boo-fast chargers. You know what I'm talking about? Like, one of the USB ones where it charges slow as fuck. So I have to order another Apple charger. But Apple chargers are, like, 40 fucking dollars. And I'm like, dude. Something, bro. What a After waste. Like a month, they end up disintegrating into thin air. And I'm pretty sure that we all have that one friend who refuses to get a new charger and walks around with literal wires in their fucking hand. And it's even worse when you gotta contort and disfigure your charger to get it at the right angle so that it can work properly. Fuck a water, earth, or fire bender. Nigga, I'm a charger bender, bro. But it's no wonder why Apple is worth an infinite amount of dollars. It's because it'd be forcing niggas to get a new charger every couple weeks. Instead of adding 12 different cameras on their phones every damn year, they need to focus on crafting some more durable chargers. Got these iPhones looking like I got from Ben 10, bro. And obviously, iPhones are made from paper mache as well. If you breathe on it too hard, your screen will shatter like Walter White's mirror. That's why you gotta get an otter. Like, do y'all have a case on your phone? You gotta get an otter box, bro. An otter box, one of the life-proof cases. If you don't have a case on your phone and your ca and your phone shatters, that's like a no shit, right? Like, I'm not, I, I don't feel bad. Because it's like, dude, you're, you're just walking around with a, a delicate ass phone. You gotta get the dad case. Bro, that's a dad case? I don't care, dude. This, if you could... I could probably chuck my fucking phone at the wall and it would be fine. I don't want to test it. My phones would be more cracked than a 12 year old Fortnite player. And I don't know what kind of angel dust y'all niggas be smoking that possesses y'all into buying the new iPhone every year, but y'all need to lay off it. Every iPhone has been the same since like 2019, bro. All y'all. It's good. Xenon for the sub. If you did that with a regular phone, it would have shattered. Not shattered. It would have cracked. Who spent thousands of dollars every year on iPhones are cheap. Now we gotta talk about giveaways. Now, like I said earlier when I was telling y'all about those cookie tins, this scam just wastes my time and my energy. We all know those YouTubers that be finessing their viewers talking about they giving away five people. Imagine me lying. It's actually just shattered. I'm just trying to, I'm trying to win the point here. My whole phone is just fucking broken. PS5s, 10 iPhones, a Lamborghini Urus, some Yeezy 350 Boost, and a house in the hills. All you gotta do is follow them on Instagram, like their previous 200 posts, follow them on Twitch, follow them on Twitter, oh, and yeah, like that bullshit ass fucking um giveaway shit.
Well, all you gotta do to all you gotta do to enter is follow the 45 accounts here, like all of their posts. And subscribing to their channel and commenting choose me in the comment section. Bro, I never even used to enter at three of your friends. Entertain shit like this. These motherfuckers be promoting this giveaway for the entire year, trying to get their likes and followers up, bro. And to this day, I've never seen anybody actually get shouted out for winning this malevolent scheme. I guess they just wait for it to all blow over or something. The same thing goes for those fucking Danimal sweepstakes, bro. Zach and Cody were nah, advertising some bullshit. They really had niggas submitting all their information without their parents' permission to try and win a fake ass crews everybody that was working for nickelodeon at that time needs to be incarcerated 25 to life now we gotta talk about doordash now listen here bro i don't even be eating fast food or anything like that and i'm not even the type to disrespect customer service workers but these niggas be wild sometimes ordering doordash is like a last result bro like there has to be absolutely no food in the crib not even enough to make a struggle meal first of all my food be arriving to the crib like he got a lap dance from whoever delivered this shit bro my burger dash be looking like he got hit by one of those hydraulic presses and then they got the nerve to be asking for tips after i just dropped a down payment on a number seven with fries like at that point bro i'd rather walk and just get my food and then i'll be telling these niggas to leave the food at the door but they insist on wanting to meet me face to face and just stand outside the door like they're a statue or something like i'm just trying to grab my food stand there for like 10 minutes bro and you're like fucking walk away like what the fuck like you order that shit and they spent 35 minutes taking a picture of the fucking food like god damn dude what do you gotta fuck what do you gotta update your phone in peace, my nigga, I don't need your ass cosplaying as paparazzi trying to flick me up. I'll send you a selfie of me with the food or something, bro. Damn. Now we gotta talk about hospitals. I mean, U.S. healthcare is probably the biggest scam of all time. Literally, ambulance rides alone are hundreds of dollars. But I wholeheartedly believe the hospitals are more uncanny than a cemetery, bro. They just give me a shuddersome feeling. Like, I'll do everything in my power to keep from going to the ER, bro. I'd rather try to put myself back together than walk into that ghastly building. As a matter of fact, I'd rather pull it to a school nurse and get a fucking ice pack before I spend my entire salary at a hospital. For the prices that motherfuckers be paying for checkups and random prescriptions you better give me that phd off your wall like imagine giving birth and you and your wrinkly ass infant are sharing a special moment together just for the nurse to stick out her dirty ass hand talking about that'll be 5k what oh my god i think it's gonna wrap everything up for this video man comment down below the biggest legal scam or something else that feels like a ripoff you know what i'm saying let me know anything like that bro let me know what are other scams killer for the side uh what are other scams like in society Paying for water Ugh, is crazy to me. That you have to pay for water. Like bottled water. Not like city. I'm not saying like water at your house, right? Because you're paying for it to basically be delivered to your house. But like paying bo like bottled water shouldn't cost money. <laughs> like, I feel like that should be covered by taxes. DLCs, fortune tellers, carnival games. Yeah, you already said carnival games. Gas. Gas isn't a scam. Dirt. <laughs> dirt? Paying for dirt. Yeah, paying for dirt is a big thing. Life support. Death taxes is, is a scam in my idea. When you die before you get the money... Like, say you have $100,000 and you die and that 100000 gets willed to whoever. They'll pay a death tax on your money before you get it. Uh, it's an actual thing that when you die, you're required to give the government some of your money for dying. Sar for the three. Twitch payouts. It's Jaden for the sub. Yeah, the whole the whole 50-50 sub split's kind of a scam, but that's it's going to be 70-30 for some partners in October. Uh, I think I might qualify for that. Uh, I don't know for sure. All right, next video. How dollar stores quietly consumed America. Expert. This dollar general. To a certain slightly uninformed expert. Be love for the three. Social security age. This Dollar General in Faith, South Dakota, would seem an economic impossibility disproven only by its existence. Faith is a tiny place, a remote, no-stoplight prairie town of 367. Wow. It's got a couple of gas stations and a couple of inns and restaurants and an auto parts store, but what it doesn't have is a single nationwide brand. It doesn't have a single branch of any store, restaurant, or service that exists beyond the region around, except for Dollar General. Are there Dollar Generals near y'all? I feel like Dollar Ge like Dollar General is something that's popped off in the last like five years. Like in the last five years, I've probably seen 
seven Dollar Generals pop up within like a, a 60 mile radius? Like how many Dollar Generals have popped up near you in the last three years? Like a lot. There's so many. And it's because it's like, it's like a higher, it's better than a regular dollar store, but it's worse than a grocery store. So it's like the in-between. Where like you can shop there and you could get some produce and like basic items, but if you really need something specific, they won't have it. But that doesn't explain the full extent of the anomaly because Dollar General isn't just the only chain in Faith, it's the only chain in a 45 minute radius until one arrives at this Dairy Queen. 45 minute radius and there's no McDonald's? Yo, I, yo, there's gonna be, yo, for my one chatter that's living in fucking North Dakota, yo, I'm sorry, man. The far larger 3,000 person tribal capital of Eagle Butte. And it's a Dairy Queen. Oh, the Saturday trip is to the Dairy Queen. A 367 person population just isn't typically enough to attract a nationwide brand. There's just not enough money in the area to make capturing it attractive. And yet somehow Dollar General makes it work. Well, perhaps in a but do they make money though? Like when y'all pass a Dollar General, how many people are in that fucking store? Two, and like they're and like they buy like four dollars a shit. I feel like it has to be. They got I I don't know. Sometimes there's like they're packed, but they'll be packed for like five minutes. Extreme example. There's like a Dollar General, I feel is pulling in like maybe a thousand a day in revenue. My probably more but like not much more. No secret about faith. It's not some tourist Mecca. It's not an interstate oasis. It does sit at the intersection between a state and US highway, but it's not on the fastest route between any two cities. So this store somehow is sustained by the tiny community that surrounds it. This is anomalous in the context of national retailers, but not in the context of Dollar General. Somebody said overpopulation's a lie. Overpopulation's not a lie for specific areas. Yeah, if you live in fucking Wyoming, overpopulation isn't an issue, right? But if you live in Center City, New York, or you live in Bangladesh, any part of Bangladesh, or India, or some shit like that, yeah, overpopulation's a fucking problem. They're consistently persistent in places simply too small for other chains. Its next nearest location to the north is in a town of 1200, to the east 1100, and to the south and west 540 and 590 Dude, respectively. Living in a pot, living in a city with 500 people, you could literally know everyone. Walmart is also one of the most regular retailers in rural America, but they don't even come close to these numbers. There's no way to know for sure which are their lowest traffic stores and therefore what the minimum population that can support their economics is, but by letting the quantity of Google reviews act as an imperfect proxy, their location in Gunnison emerges as Colorado's least popular location. 6,700 live within a 20 minute driving radius of this store, but revenue is likely buoyed by its positioning at the start of the dead end highway up to the tourist town of Crested Butte. Yo, Beach. you know my favorite shit is going into a fucking, uh, Walgreens right before it closes. Or a Walmart. Going into like a grocery store right before close. You're gonna see some crazy people, but like it's peaceful. It's almost like the back rooms, because no one's there. Similarly, Wyoming's least popular Walmart is its outpost. And then sometimes they'll have, like, the music playing in the background. Hold up. Like this. Or just some shit in the back, and you're just like... <laughs> just walking around bro that's what it feels like a simulation for real though that feels like that's when life don't feel real when you're walking in a grocery store and they're playing some department store i'm gonna look up walgreens music walgreens walgreens mute oh god like um convenience convenience store music
and it's just you. The only person in the whole store. And you're just shopping, you know? You're just look. You, you came in for one thing, you know? You came in here for toothpaste. But you might as well, you might as well just kind of walk around the aisles, you know, even if you're not going to buy anything. See what they're offering. Oh, the Halloween decorations are here. Oh, wow, they already put them out? <laughs> Yo, that's the biggest NPC thing I do, is walk around. I swear to God, I'll walk around. I will, without a doubt, I'll walk around a fucking grocery store as the only person there. Oh, wow, the Christmas trees. That's a nice wreath. I might come back and get that another day. I won't come back and get that. I am running low on gum. <laughs> Bro, it's, it's fun, though. In Rawlings with a 6,300 person population within the same radius, but once again, its revenue is likely boosted by its location along Interstate 80. So perhaps the best evidence of the minimum population to support the retailer's economics comes from Alaska, where its least popular store sits on the island of Kodiak. 8,700 people live within a 20 minute radius, and there's clearly no interstate traffic. Yo, imagine living in Kodiak, Alaska. The funnest thing to do is probably go to the Walmart. Coming through. And again. Hold up. And again, you're in Kodiak, Alaska, right? It's a Friday night. <laughs> you're, just, you're looking, you know, you're planning on watching maybe Groundhog Day. The movie. Getting a frozen pizza from the aisle. Just fucking, just wheeling, wheeling through, right? Oh, Ben and Jerry's. Might as well grab that while you're here. <laughs> Fucking somebody renewed flex. Bro, it's so fun walking through. Why Groundhog Day? I don't know. I thought of an old movie. You're going to watch Lampoon's Christmas Vacation. It's getting cold outside. Might as well check out the furniture side. <laughs> the furniture aisle. Aisle. Fuck. All right, I'm done. We'll go back into the video. Walmart you, Jimmy, for the sub. Revolutionized retail through its ability to turn a profit in small remote communities like Kodiak. Its impact decimated the American Main Street. But dog Yo, should that be the new vibe music? Oh my god. I could jam to some fucking grocery store-esque fucking music for video gaming days. I'm gonna add that to the playlist. When we're playing Subnautica. Mr. Sandy. Our general has taken that to a new extreme. Where Walmart entrenches itself in the thousands, Dollar General deals in the hundreds. This revolutionary retail concept starts. And they got that self checkout too, bro. They got like no. You could walk into a Dollar General and not see one worker and check out all by yourself. On the inside. Total staff headcount at a given location typically sits between six and 10. And of those, just two or three might work at a given time. Given typical hourly rates and typical opening hours, that means Dollar General can spend as little as three to four hundred dollars a day staffing their lowest traffic store. Now, nah, but Dollar Generals become shitholes so fast, though. Like when a Dollar General opens up, you're like, "Oh, this is so nice," and then like walk into that same Dollar General two years from there, and it looks like somebody died on the floor. Like there's just stuff everywhere. Then there's product offering complexity. A Walmart averages 140,000 unique products. They'll sell Coke in 10 count mini cans, 30 count mini cans, 12 count full size cans, 24 count full size cans, 12 count mini bottles, 6 count full size bottles, 12 count full size bottles, 1 count 2 liter bottles, 4 count 4 liter bottles, and then they'll offer all these sizes for Diet Coke, Coke Zero, Cherry Coke, and then they'll offer this same spread for every other soda brand and its variants, which is incredibly convenient. They have the exact soda, variant, bottle size, type, and quantity that any given person wants, but the permutations really add up. More individual products require a more complex supply chain, more floor space, and added staffing dedicated to organization, which adds to cost for the retailer. Dollar General, meanwhile, keeps it simple. They offer- Dollar General got one bottle of Coke. You either fucking take that shit or you go the fuck home, okay? That's all you're getting. You got a bottle of Coke, maybe? Maybe a Sprite Cranberry, if you're lucky, right, during the Christmas season. 
offer just 10,000 unique products, but they do this primarily not by reducing how many product categories they sell, but rather the optionality within each category. In a way, they're trying to be a mini- You want waffles? They got a, they got a crinkled box of Eggo waffles left in the refrigerator. It looks like somebody stepped on the box, but you really want Eggo waffles, and there's no other Eggo waffles in the fucking store. So you're going to get them, bitches. Walmart, offering a one-stop shop experience, as long as you're willing to compromise on brand, size, quality, or quantity of a given product. So whereas Walmart has a pan or toilet paper or- But if you want a lighter from a Dollar General, oh, best believe you could buy any lighter in the fucking world. You want a lighter from Dollar General? Oh, the they got a spread of lighters. They have torches. They have colorful lighters. They have, like, stick lighters. They have grill lighters. Detergent aisle, Dollar General has a pan, a toilet paper, or a detergent. Now, Walmart is likely able to purchase Tide detergent from Procter & Gamble for a fairly low price because it's the largest retailer in the world and therefore has very strong negotiating power. If it were to stop stocking Tide, p and You'll make sure to count this one, too. You'll make sure to count this one, too. G's revenues would take an enormous hit. But correspondingly, given the popularity of Tide, Walmart could take a hit if consumers decided to go to Target to buy the brand instead. Dollar General, meanwhile, has that same enormous negotiating power with their same enormous size, but crucially, they don't have to stock everything. Walmart's competitive advantage is that they're the definitive one-stop shop. They combine the local supermarket, hardware, electronics, home goods, and clothing Where stores- Where do y'all get your groceries? Or your parents, if you don't shop for yourself. To one. Dollar I'm curious. I feel like most people, it's probably Walmart. But I would say a lot of people, it's like ShopRite, Acme. Uh, or like, well, I mean, ShopRite's more of like a Northeastern thing. So maybe I'm going to, yeah, you guys are probably going to say like Publix. Albertsons, Costco, yeah, BJ's, Aldi. General's competitive advantage is that they're the shop. They are the only game in town, and so they just need to food offer- Food Lion? I've been to a Food Lion. Those are pretty fire. The people there are nice. One brand of laundry detergent, and that's the detergent people will get. This bestows enormous negotiating leverage. Manufacturers will bend to their whims in order to become the Dollar General detergent supplier, meaning they might be able to get a similar or even better deal from P&G on detergent pricing than- Oh, that's Walmart. why it's so cheap, because they only sell one. That's what leads to products like this. Dollar General's $1 Tide brand detergent. To balance the retailer's need for a low-cost offering with their desire to maintain a premium name brand image, Procter & Gamble has gone out of their way to manufacture a $1 Tide detergent bottle. Now, Walmart actually sells this same product for less. Their 128 fluid ounce size works out to under 12 cents per load, almost half yeah. of Dollar General. Let me buy a 128 fucking fluid ounce thing of Tide though, what the fuck? 20 cents per 89 loads that'll last you a year dollar general's target consumer is one who is severely cash strapped they cater to the class of consumers that might want to spend ten dollars on bulk detergent that will last for months a gallon of tide is the one dollar option regardless to keep enough cash on hand to pay rent before their next payday so dollar general actually charges more per load and even better their consumer will want to come back sooner than walmart's to buy a refill at which time they'll also buy whatever else they need therefore extracting more revenue but dollar general's true strategic linchpin is the most anomalous aspect of its business model its remote locations the retailer has turned it is so convenient when there's like nothing near you uh, and you're like on a drive and you pass a Dollar General and you're like, thank God. Uh, somebody said boring. All right, we'll see you later, man. What would be a weakness for others into the core. Five for the five. As somebody that lives in Alaska, I can test the best thing to do in the crappy state is walk around Walmart. Or of its strength. Now you got fishing and shit though. It starts with cost. Rent at this store in North Creek, New York is $118,000 a year. At this store grand. in Sullivan, Maine, $103,000 a year. And at that Faith, South Dakota location, $106,000 a year. That works out to between three and $400 in rent per day, which added to their three or $400 in daily staffing costs, underpins Dollar General's ability to run a store with under- Bro, but they're not making that much bread. I know they're not. How many motherfuckers are going into a Dollar General per day? $1,000 of overhead per day. 
In general, they just won't set up a location in a place where they'll have to pay over $150,000 or so in annual rent. It just breaks their low-cost business model. But low rent costs are far from the key that unlocks rural America. Rather, remoteness itself enables their remoteness. Take their location in Haven, Kansas. This is a town of 1,170. I'm waiting for a chatter to be like, I live there! That simply does not have a grocery store. Oh, that's my city. Oh, look, that's my house. Grocery store. They have a gas station and a liquor store and a coffee shop and diner. But I they love that Dollar General. Don't have a grocery store. Dollar General is not a grocery store, but their locations do stock shelf-stable dry goods and frozen food, and some sell you a could limited live supply. Off, you could live off of only going to a Dollar General, though. Like, they're not going to have a good selection of produce, but, like, you could get fruits, vegetables, and shit. Of perishables. The closest dedicated grocery store is a full 10-minute drive away in the next town, and it's small, not one that could necessarily fulfill all of a person's needs. The closest supermarket is a full 22 minutes away in the city of Hutchinson, so what happens in practice when Dollar General enters a market like Haven is that rather than making that 10 or 22 minute trip, people shop out of the local Dollar General for regular day-to-day -day needs, then make less frequent trips to the distant grocery store for fresh and specialty. Yeah, and then they get that fucking bread. And then they get that fucking bread, chat. New business idea. When I'm done social media, I'm open up a Dollar General. I'm gonna open up, I'm, I'm gonna open up a Dollar General every 10 feet. So you don't gotta even leave your house. I'm gonna have a dollar. That's what my business motto is gonna be. We're gonna put we're gonna put a company Dollar General in your house. So then you don't even need to leave to buy shit. But increasingly, this pattern isn't confined to Dollar General, and it isn't confined to rural America either. This is Atlanta, Georgia, and the surrounding cities, suburbs, and communities that comprise much of the broader Atlanta metro area. This is a map of their most common grocery stores. Whole Foods, Trader Joe's, Lidl, Publix. All right, I'm getting bored. We're going next video. It was interesting while it lasted. Ohio 2, short horror film. Lock in, chat. Oh, we, I don't know if they're linked, by the way. I don't think, I don't think this is a, a continuous thing. Rot. Oh my god, 135 a.m. in Mansfield, Ohio. <laughs> Only in Ohio, dude, right? Oh my god. Classic Ohio, big chungus, skibbity toilet. All right, that is creepy as fuck. Evo said, shut the fuck up. <laughs> oh, I'm shaking. Oh, I'm so scared. Right, chat? <laughs> oh, my God. Shut the fuck up. Oh, my God. I'm shivering in my boots. Oh, fuck it. I'm so scared. Oh, I'm pissing myself. Right, chat? <laughs> oh, I'm so fucking. Oh, I'm fucking so nervous right now. He's telling me to shut up. Shiver me tippers. Oh, right, chat? <laughs> I'm kidding. Bro, Evo wasn't here for that. Evo, that's a, uh, that was a, uh, I was referencing a video uh, that we watched earlier. Oh, uh, shiver me fucking timbers. I'm so scared of this Ohio guy. Oh, right, chat. Who I'm immediately it? grabbing a knife. Somebody knocks on your door at 1.35 a.m. Get a fucking weapon. <laughs> right, chat? Right, chat? Can't you walk in the fire? Can't you run in the night? Can't you make it up the mountainside? Can't you make it down? Yo, he looks Can I help lost. You? Hi. I'm Ian. Hi, Ian. Can I help you with something? Oh my god. Any other woman in real life is saying, Oh, hi, Ian. You better get the fuck off my front door before I call the fucking cops on your cuck ass. Like, what? They're not saying, Can I help you? 
I'm saying, uh, leave or you're done. Yes, actually. I'm locked out of my car and I'm, I'm in need of assistance. Why does he have a cake? I'm sorry, I can't help you with that. It's late. I'm alone and I'm a woman. Oh, so. oh my God. Why would you say you're alone? 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 Yo. Forgot to mention this. I went out yesterday uh, with like a bunch of my friends and Brooke. We were waiting. We had to take a bunch of different Ubers. We were waiting for our Uber. Some guy walks by us and he's like, what's up? And I'm like, what's up, man? He's like, how's your night? I'm like, good. As he's walking away, he's like, where are y'all going? I'm like, we're going out. Are you waiting for an Uber? I'm like, yeah. He said, oh, can I come? And starts walking towards us. He said, can I hop in the Uber? I said, no. I said, sorry. No, man. He was like 50. And then Brooke got mad at me. She was like, you told him where we were going. I was like, I was like, yeah. I didn't think he was going to ask to get in the Uber. It was so weird, though. He was like, can I hitch a ride? I was like, no. I was like, what? I don't know you. Yeah, like, yeah, yeah, man, you could get in our Uber. It's, it's my daughter's fifth birthday, and I just want to deliver the cake so her mother and I can sing happy birthday to her. Can't you just- Why is it 1 a.m. and you're getting a cake? I'm not falling for this. Call Toto's towing. I, I can give you their number. I mean, well, that's the thing. I actually lost my phone, so I, I just need to borrow a phone so I can call someone. Oh, cool. Cool, man. Go to a 7-Eleven. <laughs> cool, man. There's a 7-Eleven about two miles that way. Have a fun walk. Please. Can you look at Fear Grant's messages? Yeah, that's a ban. Thank you, Foxman. Ty Smith for the sub. Deleted for the sub. Knox for the three. You sound like a smoker trying to make his voice deeper. How do I sound like a smoker trying to make my voice deeper? Larry for the sub. Vibe for the five. I mean, I do smoke weed infrequently, but I don't, I wouldn't say I'm a smoker. Ty Smith for the sub. Joe is a smoker trying to make his voice deeper facts. Aren't you a smoker? Yeah, I mean, like, yeah, I'll hit a cart, fucking smoke a joint once a week or some shit, but I wouldn't say I'm a frequent smoker. Mother and I are recently divorced. Oh my God, man, this story, this guy's story just keeps getting worse. Why would you admit to smoking weed? I've smoked weed on stream. It's legal in New Jersey. They have shops where you can buy it. It's fascinating, right? You can walk in. You can say, I'd like an eighth of, of, of shit face McFuck me. And they're going to say, oh, that's a nice one. And they're going to hand me, they're going to hand me that fucking strain, right? And, and I'm going to leave, right? Or I could say, oh, I'll have, I'll have the uh, summer peach edibles, sir. And they're going to hand me the weed, right? And then I leave, right? What do you mean, why would I admit to smoking weed? It's legal. I just want to deliver the cake so that we can sing happy birthday to her like we used to. Oh, my God. Thank you. So... What do you need? I, I just need to get into my car, deliver the cake so that we can sing happy birthday. He is so creepy. Oh. I can call Toto's towing. Um, actually, do you think that we could call my insurance company? They're a little more affordable. Right. Yes, I understand. Um, I'm not giving him my phone. I'm not giving him my phone. Oh, I... I'm immediately closing. I'm immediately closing the door, bro. She dies. It's on her at this point. It's, That's crazy. You that... Yeah, I'm I'm just going to put it on the counter. He's going to follow her. Thank you. 
cake is going to be so scrumptious. Please, please don't, don't drop it. Oh, I won't. I'm usually very... I just really want to see my daughter blow out her candles. I understand. Could you please step outside? Please, I'm... I'm sorry. I, I'm really not here to hurt you. I, I just need to borrow your phone and I'll be on my merry little way. I would stab him. <laughs> Like, that knife right there is getting yoinked. Sure. Oh my god, why would you ever give him your phone? He's about to football spike that fucking thing. You idiot, you almost ruined everything! Grab the knife. Grab the knife. Grab the knife. Right there. Right there is where you grab the fucking knife. What the fuck? I'm sorry, I... I have a lot that I'm dealing with. Hello? Hi, my name is Ian McIntyre. I've been locked out of my car and I need assistance. Yes, of course. Idiot. They put me on hold. I understand. I'm telling him aggressively to get the fuck out of my house. Oh my god. Why is she being so nice? I'm Ian, by the way. I, we know. Don't shake her hand. Don't shake her hand. Don't shake her hand. Don't shake her hand. Or don't shake his hand. Holy fucking shit. Maybe. Oh my god. Oh. I'm sorry. Are you okay? Are you okay? I'm chopping off his hand. Oh my god. I just have a lot of social anxiety. So you rub your face on somebody's hand like a cat? Are you talking to someone about that? Are you talking to someone about that? Hello? Yes, I'm still here. <gasps> you, you, you want my license plate number? It's not even... You didn't dial anyone. Huh? Oh my god. I can see the phone screen. You but that's where you grab the knife! Dial anyone. Then who am I talking to on the phone, silly? My license plate number? Bro, she I is literally just gonna- She's gonna die, and she six, had so many scenarios where six, she could've six, fucking just done something. O-H-I-O. -O. Ian? Oh my god, why is she explaining it? I think it'll be... Oh my god. ...better... ...for if, the both of us. If I just walk you out that door right now. And I'm about to place my screwdriver in somebody's neck! No!
Wow! Yo, they make some good-ass fucking videos, though. Alexander the Titan, dude. Jesus. It's scary, but it's like, fuck. Like, why wouldn't you just fucking do something to, like, save yourself? Like, she had, like, so many scenarios where she could have just been like, uh, get the fuck out. All right. We're gonna call that there, chat. That was a W fucking stream. Uh, exclamation point Discord. Mods for the Discord link. Join the Discord. Send videos through the reactor games to me to play in the video suggestion tab, game suggestion tab. Uh, that's how I find a lot of the videos that I react to in the games that I play. So if you have anything that you want me to react to, whether it be fucking scary videos, funny videos, fucking Darvan, uh, philosophy, it could be anything. Literally just something that would be good to watch on stream, something that's interesting, fun to make fun of, cringy, whatever. Uh, send those there. Uh, if you have any games you want me to play that you think would be good on stream, uh, send those in the game suggestion tab uh, as well. Uh, I had a fun time streaming. I hope you guys had a fun time watching. We had a great view count today. A lot of people that showed up. Uh, and I appreciate everybody that subbed, followed, donoed, and just watched in general. Uh, I hope you guys had a fun time watching. I had a fun time streaming. Uh, and I hope to catch you all in future streams. I'll be live tomorrow at 4.30 EST. We're going to be doing Unbans uh, and then Subnautica. Uh, Tuesday, I won't be live. Wednesday, we're going to be uh, doing Parasocial, the Chills Art game, then Garten of Bon Bon 3, which is another scary game. Uh, Thursday... Will actually be a react day because Friday uh, at 5 uh, or 4.30 EST, I'll probably still go live, but the tournament starts at 5, uh, is the Twitch Rivals Party Animals event. Uh, so we can't do reacts that day. Uh, Saturday, I'll be live uh, at 2 doing Prison Sim, and Sunday, I'll be live at 2 for reacts. Uh, and this Thursday, actually, we'll do the reacts and then end with Philosophy reacts. But yeah, uh, I hope you all had fun watching. Once again, I had a fun time streaming. Um, and we're going to raid now. I'm actually going to be posting on YouTube in about like 30 minutes to an hour as well. So make sure to look out for that, uh, too. Uh, and I hope to catch you on future streams, whether it be tomorrow for the unbanned Subnautica, Wednesday for scary games, Thursday reacts, Friday, the party animals are just in general. I'm close for the sub. Uh, once again, I appreciate everybody fucking watching. Uh, we're actually, I know a lot of people are probably going to ask about the Spider-Man, but I already said, um, we're going to play the new Spider-Man when it comes out, but we're not going to continue with the regular Miles Morales just because it's kind of an older game. Uh, and there's more interest in Subnautica, so I'd rather play that as, like, the staple once-a-week game uh, comparable to uh, doing two at once. But, yeah. Uh, and when we're done, Subnautica will run the mod in Minecraft world. But hope you all had fun watching once again. Who do you all want to raid today? Dante? We could raid Dante. All right. I hope you all had fun watching the stream once again, and I will see y'all tomorrow. Uh, go watch the YouTube video when I post that shit, and yeah, I will see y'all later. We are going to raid in a five, four, three, two, one. See y'all tomorrow.